Duluth, take it away. Hi, I'm Swift Duluth. You might know me as a Pokemon speedrunner, and you would in fact be correct. I am a Pokemon speedrunner. Today, I'm here with Pokemon Coliseum, and I have my absolutely lovely commentators if they would like to introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Corvame. You might also know me as a Pokemon speedrunner. I was also on that, uh, that I also was on the run right before this. You might know me from that. Uh, hi, I'm Evanisha. Um, you might know me from probably nothing, um, but I am a leaderboard moderator uh, for Pokemon Coliseum and Pokemon XD Guild of Darkness, and I'm very happy to be here to help commentate Swift Strong today. Yeah, I am super, super looking forward to doing this run. This is one of my favorite Pokemon speedruns, if not my favorite one at this point. So you are about to witness the best Pokemon speedrun, hopefully, that I've ever done. <laughs> but to start off things, I am going to need to do a 160 frame manip trick. Um, obviously, it's very hard, so if I don't hit it, I do have a backup save. But we'll need to wait until we get to our second Pokemon uh, that we catch. Um, to switch to the cart. Um, but that's okay. We're gonna try, because if I hit it, it'd be super, super sick. If I don't, that's okay. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to count down three, two, one, go on new game. And that's when timing starts. Um, but I will need to deafen myself for 20 seconds just so I can kind of focus on the audio cue for this. So just something to note. Or at least a little bit of quiet time. All right. But anyways, let's get this started. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so Swift is Devin now and doing the frame perfect trick that she has set up beforehand where you go in and out of the battle menu and to re-roll to a set RNG seed that we want where there is an SP on that exists that has good enough stats. If she does land this, I believe it would be the first time this minute has been landed at a marathon. So hopefully really? she got it's it. It's never happened? Yeah. It wow. Hasn't. Yeah, it would be really cool. And especially if we got a roundable coil as well. Like that would be that would be crazy. Yeah, so <laughs> this game's this game's hilarious because um it's a mix of both manip and manipless, where we're able to manip the Espeon that we start with, but then we don't yet have a manip for Kolava, which we will snag later. Um, more on that when we get there. It's like 20 minutes into the run, is that right? Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, and, like, I don't know, there's like 12 runnable Kolavas in the world because they're all terrible, <laughs> it turns out. That's one way to describe them. Yeah, yeah, it, just, it certainly feels like that. Like, there, we can probably talk about that, that later, but there's a lot of exclusion criteria for the Kualava, and it's a little bit runner dependent. Like, you can All pick right. and choose I'm a gonna, little bit, I'm gonna check see this. what's best. But yeah, let's see if Swift got the minute. 9371 is not it. It is. I don't see it on this list. <laughs> Where did it go? Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> did you roll over? <laughs> Oh no, I think it's mm. this this gentle espion. It's like a it's 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 really late. It could also be a very early one. I'm not sure which one it is, but I didn't hit it. So, we're going to uh, just play with the, the espion for some reason. I'm right over there in the stairs. Oh, you don't have a backup espion? No, I do. But okay. the thing is, Coliseum is super funny. You cannot save unless you're at a PC. But <laughs> but wouldn't you have to just reset and then load a backup? I don't understand. I don't understand. Well, anything. you see, there's I don't run a few this game. fights. I'm just okay. Here. So there's a few fights you need to do, including this one. This is like one of the fights you need to do. Um, there's two fights you need to do in order to save at a PC. And at that point, like, there's like three more fights after that. And you might as well just do the three fights, catch the Koala, switch to your backup cart, and then do away. Because. You're going to need to... You, so one of the reasons why you don't want to uh, swap during Espeon is you actually really want to track your Koalava's stats. And you can't do that if you don't know what seed you're on. So when you reset, you don't have your same seed anymore. Wait, are you trading in the backup from a different memory card, like into the save? Yeah, I have a memory card loaded and... Oh, I was like, I thought you said a backup save. But so I was like, you could just load the other save. See? Yeah, well, it's, uh, it's really it. weird because um, the save point is like 
after we've caught quill. Uh, just make sure that there, there's a good one. But the save point is again a little weird, but it's like probably the most convenient save point in the game, which is, I don't know what that says about the game, but <laughs> it is probably the most convenient point to save overall. It's that was a lot of damage from Umbreon, holy moly. Yeah, that's, that's a good hit. I mean, it can't be low IV, so I'm trying to find it still. <laughs> Maybe I just it just doesn't exist. Um, a little context into this run before we really get going is that this, I like to call, this is like the Pokemon Speedrunner's Pokemon Speedrun. Yeah. This game, the notes for this game are like <laughs> 99 pages of flowcharts, essentially. Uh, because all the fights have so much variance in them based on, because A, your Quilava does, has random stats, and B, all of it's all the snaggable Pokemon have random sna the stats, is that correct? Yep. Uh, yeah, so all the shadow Pokemon have random generated IVs and natures and stuff like that. And that gets um, really funny. So there's a ton of different things that make this uh, uh, a lot more complicated than your, the, your average speedrunner, which is why uh, me, a person who doesn't run this, just for commentary, Swift made me a, a 36 slide PowerPoint <laughs> to follow along at home. I made it specifically a PowerPoint slideshow because I know May, and uh, I don't think she would be able to read the notes and follow along with just a Google page doc, honestly. <laughs> it's, this uh, is the first time that I've, that I've give, been given uh, PowerPoint-based commentator notes. <laughs> it is amazing. I mean... And surely they work. <laughs> as someone as someone who's uh, who's had a good look at the PowerPoint as well, just to see what's on there, um, it's a great PowerPoint and honestly like a, just an incredible way to display the run in short. And I mean, following along with the notes would be pretty much impossible. I mean, they're pretty unreadable if you haven't run the game as well. So there's, there's, there's a lot. Really good. I mean... No, I'm not. I'm not linking the PowerPoint chat. That'll spoil too much. <laughs> yeah. Maybe at the end. Maybe at the end. Maybe at the end. You're for. You're for me, I, you have my permission if you want to. But yeah, I made. I made notes for May. Wow, it's 39 special attack. Okay, it wasn't as good as I thought. Um, I made. I made those notes for May. Um, to help follow along because she runs Pokemon. Um, I do. That's true. She she runs Pokemon, but I know she uh, she she does not run this game. But don't 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 we'll keep that a secret. She's I've already said she, it like she, three she, times. True. Okay. Never mind. Um, uh, <laughs> all right. Here's what we'll do. Okay. When we meet the metronome incentive, I will release the PowerPoint. Yes. Oh, true. All right. Also, so there you go, chat. It's a side incentive now. now. <laughs> exactly. Now you're double. Double incentivized. We have about four thousand uh, and twenty dollars, I believe, if I'm doing my math right, until we meet that incentive. So go ahead and donate. We have Why a bit. Go ahead and read a couple. Oh yeah, so donations. Yeah. Sorry, I had to name Rui because I asked critique at the beginning what I should name Rui because uh, I can't keep this. But <laughs> go ahead. It's fine. Um, we have a $5 donation from Regali. It says donating to shout out the audio tech and all the behind the scenes staff for this awesome event. Let's try and get that XD bonus run. And then we have a $25 donation that says Bingus for the win from Steph. Thank you. I am on team Bingus. Uh, yes. And for those of you who Bingus. don't know, Bingus is one of the options for the Espeon naming. Uh, which is coming up about an hour and a half into the run, right? Yes. So when we purify Quilava, which is not until Agate Village, uh, we'll be able to nickname our Pokemon there. So it'll come up sooner than you think. So you should definitely get those in and either name it Bingus, or if you really like Okami, you could name it Okami. I love that game a lot, but I really like Bingus. I'm sorry. It's really funny. <laughs> I am on Team Bingus, yes. Yeah, I'm, I, I gotta say, I'm also Team Bingus, like... I can't imagine being on another team at this point, honestly. Also, well, look at this think... completely inconspicuous man coming out of this. Oh, yeah. Very, very, so friendly. Yeah. <laughs> and, oh, there's our friendly mayor. And, uh, yeah, so this game story is, um, 
um, interesting. Um, it's hard to go too much into it because it's, well, not that well written, but um, this is Escade and uh, he's the mayor of this town and we are reporting an incident where Rui was captured and saw what is a shadow Pokemon, which we will get to later, and uh, they're just reporting that incident and he's saying he'll look into it after that. Again, completely inconspicuous gentleman walked out of the building. And yeah. so we're headed up here to look at the main attraction of the city, which is the Fennec Coliseum. Whoa, from the game's name! <laughs> no oh, way! It's a reference! Oh yeah, we do only... <laughs> we only have one battle inside of a Coliseum during any... Or like, four, I guess. Uh, yeah. Inside a Coliseum during the any percent run. And uh, it's inside the same, same singular Coliseum. So the game's namesake, sadly, is not visited much upon within the any percent realm, but if you are interested in actually seeing the coliseums that this game has to offer, there is a hundred percent where you get to do a lot of coliseum battles. Yeah, uh, the hundred percent run is uh, something else. A, turns out there's a lot of stuff to do in this game if you really want to go all the way out. Yeah, no, it's like... Uh, now we know our, our, we have our villainous team here, Team Snagum. <laughs> Some of the names in this game are really funny. You got Wacken. This game's got good game names. You got, you got Ryder Raiden. You got Turo. I mean, yeah, I was going to say Ryder Turo. Uh, Scarlet and Violet was teased early. Wow, I one-shot that. that. I don't know what this Espeon is, but it's good. Oh, yeah. Cool. Are we going to use it? No. Sadly, <laughs> hidden power. Right, yeah. I have no idea what the hidden power is, uh, which is a little concerning. Don't use poison gas, please. Okay, that works. This would um, probably be like... I haven't seen the stats yet, but just looking at the rolls we've had, I would assume this would have been like a runnable Espeon when we did Manipolis, which gonna, is the rare. We're gonna find out. Yeah. Don't remember the stat cut off. It was 77. <laughs> oh, well, that is runnable, so, you know. Cool. Yeah, this, uh, this Espeon is very good. Unfortunately, we do need Hidden Power to be manipped. Uh, so, without without Hidden Power, there's a lot of things that just don't work out for the route. Uh, we use Hidden Power Grass. Uh, not sure if that was mentioned, but yes, that's why we need the Manipped Espeon. The speed is important, and the special attack is important, and it's, again, the Hidden Power. Hidden Power Grass is just super useful paired with the Tech Lotion. Yeah. Not aware of Hidden Power, the... Um the type and the damage of Hidden Power, uh, at least before Gen 7, 6, one of those when they, when they made it always 60 base power, is dependent on your IVs, which are your, essentially your Pokemon's, like, um, it's a number from 0 to 31 for each of your six primary stats. That is your uh, HP, attack, defense, special attack, special defense, and speed. Uh, they are randomly generated when the Pokemon is made. And that the, those stats are then or those numbers are then used. It uses uh, I believe the least significant bit um, of, to determine. I think that's the least significant bit and the second least significant bit, something like that, to determine what your the uh, damage, or the base power, and the type is. So it's essentially, I guess it isn't random, but because all the things going into it are random, it is random. Except for you can manip it, so it's not random. Yeah, it's. Uh... It's just lovely. It's, just, I mean, having it being able to have found that manip is just it changed the speed run of this game so much, and it has actually made it less reset heavy. Like a lot of people like to think that manip plus is yeah less reset heavy, but when the stat requir requirements we needed were so strict, which they were, uh, you would usually actually just be sat there resetting more uh, uh, during the old days. But if you're at least somewhat consistent at manip now, you can get about. One in four, one in five maybe, which is very, very preferable to just sitting there for hours resetting for a singular Espeon, but it's most likely to die. Yeah. Um, I think we got a little bit, we got a little bit, a little bit of time here, right? Yeah, we do have a bit of time for donations if we have any. That's great. I there is some love coming in for that PowerPoint and the donation <laughs> incentive. Heck yeah. Uh, we have a $5 donation that says, must have this PowerPoint from Anonymous. I, it's a good PowerPoint. I've seen it. It's, it's helpful. We also have a uh, $150 donation. Thank you so much, Red Draconi. 
for that. Uh, it says more GDQ equals more better. Take my money and do good things. Thank you so much for that lovely donation. And just as a reminder, all of your donations are benefiting Malala Fund, which I don't know if you've heard about them, but they're, they're pretty cool. Also, we have uh, everyone's favorite character in the game. Specifically Salsa. for that music. <laughs> Ah, oh, yes, Mary B. I, uh, I love I, his, <laughs> I love his walk. Sorry, you can continue. I just I wanted to I wanted to interrupt for that. Yeah, no, no it's, it's okay. uh it's uh his walk is just amazing. His music is amazing. Everything about <laughs> Mary B is just incredible and on point. I mean, he is sort of the the mascot of the Coliseum speedrunning community. I mean he is the he is the icon of the Discord server. We do have like I believe we still have like uh, if it hasn't been removed. Yeah, we do have like 25 different emotes that add up to Mary's be Mary B's hair and face added in the Discord, which are some <laughs> oh, of the yeah. most important ones. So we've really went far in our uh, chase for <laughs> Mary B, I suppose. But yeah, so that's just how important that group, how much of an iconic character he is when it comes to these games. And yeah, just very present in the speedrun as well, both in XD and Galaxy. Uh, yeah, we're, so we're essentially right now what we're trying to do is we're just trying to get through the story enough to A, grab our, our other Espeon <laughs> and, uh, Espeon and 2. get Espeon 2. If Espeon's so nice, why is there not an Espeon 2? Exactly. And also get our uh, Quilava because we're not actually... I got some bad news if you're an Umbreon uh, lover. And that is uh, Umbreon is it sucks. not <laughs> actually a main. It's, it's pretty it's, bad. It's not good in a speedrun setting, unfortunately. There is no snags, which does use Umbreon, but uh, it's just not very offensive. Kulava just is leagues better, unfortunately. Um, but that's okay. Uh, you'll get to see Umbreon for just a few more fights, and then, uh, then he's going away. <laughs> unfortunately. I mean, it is worth mentioning that no snags isn't that slow. Uh, the current world record in no snags in English is 3.36.19 uh, compared to the 3.29.03 that we have in any percent, so it actually doesn't lose more than like 7 minutes uh, That's to wild. use Umbreon, which is like, actually not that much. Yeah. Also, I mean, I guess uh, I do want to mention... You just been both, right? Huh? You just been both, too. You, yeah, yeah, you do. You That's what you do in no snags, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Way less reset, happy. Oh! That's a shadow Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Um, so one thing I don't think we've mentioned is that animations are on. Yeah, we can't actually turn them off, by the way. Yeah. So you'll see that's me. That's part of why this game is very long. Yeah, you'll see me sometimes use uh, a move called Return that Espeon has over Confusion, just because it's actually just a straight up faster animation. Um, but it's varying situations. So here I'm using Confusion because. I'm very likely to one-shot that, thank goodness, because I don't have enough test pants that that's a even worse range. Oh. It's usually a 1%. I, uh... Alright. I notoriously miss that range uh, quite a lot, the 1% range in my actual runs, so, you know, I'm, I'm glad Swift got here when it was worse than that, but, you know. <laughs> I know, also, yeah, that does go. If you are 28 special attack plus nature on Umbreon, uh, it's a range to die from one bite. Oh, well, I'm definitely not. Yeah, no. <laughs> so that was the first Shadow Pokemon. That's going to be a thing we see in a while. And that the Shadow Pokemon are why this game has 99 pages of flowcharts as its notes. Um, yep. Shadow Pokemon are snaggable um, because of the snag machine we stole in the opening cutscene. And that means they're essentially catchable. Um, and because they are catchable, that means they have random IVs, nature, and ability, like a, any sort of, like any random Pokemon encounter, wild encounter in a standard Pokemon game. Yeah. Um, so here, I'm, I'm just going to explain this really quick because I'm in the, the battle. Um, here, my, you're actually going to see me do a glitch. It's a, called ball duping. So what we're going to do is we're going to dupe our great ball and then just infinitely be able to use it. Because uh, this game is funny in that you use the Pokemon's first turn to throw the Pokeball or whatever ball you want, you can even throw the Master Ball, and then you use the second Pokemon's turn to swap that, and it will dupe it, and you can then use that infinitely. Oops. There we go. So I've, du I've duped, and uh, now I'll still have that Great Ball back next turn, instead of having uh, no 
That's why we have one Pokeball left uh, when we sell four of our Pokeballs. Hopefully we catch this. This is a 40%. Uh, we did. Nice. First Pokeball. You'll love to see it at a marathon. Uh, this Coal Cat Butcher, again, as Swift mentioned, is 40%. And it likes to break out quite a lot. And uh, But just getting a first capture saves so much time. It's really, really, really nice. Because this Grimer just dies and then this point also dies. And just a, pl a bite plus a return or even a return crit here. So the nightmare nope, scenario no here is that we get a crash. So the game can crash here. Um, it's rare. It's not entirely known what can cause the game to crash. Uh, but I, I do believe the theory is something to do with a flag being sent and capturing the quill or it's, and something like that just messes with it. But again, like I, we, I'm not sure we actually know the 100% know the cause. It's just like purely theoretical. Um, <laughs> this game's so funny. Um, so then, I, I wait. Wasn't I was gonna explain something about something? What was it? So what was I gonna say? I don't remember. But this quill is runnable. Too bad we're gonna reset over um, it. I have well, no idea what it is. <laughs> unfortunate. Yeah, so Qualava is hilarious. We're gonna use Qualava, it's good. Um, the nature is really important, yes. more so than any other Pokemon game. Nature pretty much always matters, but it really matters because shadow Pokemon are weird. Uh, Avery, you wanna explain that? Uh, yeah, so nature is matter a ton in this game because the natures actually determine how fast your Qualava purifies or how fast your Shadow Pokemon purify. And some natures are just better at purification than others. What is and purification? So purification is basically all these Shadow Pokemon have a Shadow Gauge that we want to reduce to, uh, which is like a bar at below, below the health of the Pokemon, and we want to reduce that to zero. Uh, and every time we enter a battle, every time we hit a walking cycle, we reduce that. And once that is down at the bottom, uh, you're able to later on purify the Quilava so it actually starts gaining experience, which it won't be doing while it's in, uh, while it's a Shadow Pokemon. And purification pretty much just gets rid of the Shadow status, but it needs that bar to be at, at the bottom. That bar changing changes a ton of different variables. Uh, it changes uh, what moves you have, because at the start you won't have access to all of Quilava's moves. And it also determines when Quill actually starts gaining experience. So it'll take experience while it's at two bars, uh, or yeah, above two bars, but uh, before, um, before that it's not actually gaining the experience that it's taking away from the fight. So I'm resetting here, by the way, uh, to switch to my backup pile here. So oh yeah, no, we lost the signal! No. Swift! Swift! Oh, wait, oh, don't actually panic in the... I shouldn't have... Um, that, that, that's a dangerous bit on second thought. Yeah, 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 that is a dangerous bit, but there's just like, again, a lot of technical technicals to it, but essentially we want a couple of natures that are just superior. Wow. They're mostly plus attack natures, uh, are usually the best, naughty, brave. This Qualava is brave, because uh, it purifies faster. We do something called calling out of hyper mode, which is what reduces the bar most efficiently. And these Qualava is also uh, trans now because uh, when we caught it was male, but now it's female. <laughs> wow, let's go. Trans rights but yeah, are like, human rights. You're right, absolutely need to make that message clear and then making it clear through the run it's beautiful beautiful but yeah so that's pretty much a quick rundown of how the <laughs> nature is and purification works so we're about to enter gatekeeper kale which uh, you know is one of the fights of all time so um this fight hard for a good pocket monster does a lot of damage it can strength. Oh, and it, it used strength. <laughs> Turn one. Yeah, so strength, strength and is it's the on worst the Oh my word, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, luckily we have a close save, but strength does so... Yeah, that's a, that, that is a lot. So strength does a lot of damage. Ideally, we see Helping Hand because it does no damage. Oh, that's not but good. But it can also Quick Attack and Shadow Rush. So, yeah, this... Uh, well, we did get Hyper Mode immediately, which is good, although we did get Imprisoned. Which is uh, less than. Oh, okay. Uh, Use helping hand. Use helping hand. Let's go. 
because <laughs> uh, I'm having to use helping hand here. Because so in prison is funny. Uh, what Imprison does is it seals your opponent's moves, and because Ralts has Confusion, I can no longer use Confusion until it's gone on the field. Which means that our most uh, And efficient... I missed a crit. <laughs> oh. This is great. Oh boy, that is, that is so unfortunate. That would have killed as well. So... My, uh, my Kulava rate for critting... Oh my, and I'm confused on Kulava. So this so, is uh, already a great start. <laughs> uh, Fred yeah. did not use helping hand this time, it seems. Luckily, if it if it if it kills Espeon here, I just, just restart the fight. But uh, we really need Espeon alive. Yeah, we Please, basically need. Okay. Yeah, no, we need Espeon so. to not lose out on any experience. So if Espeon dies, that's usually reset. Oh, but can die. It's very not ideal, but. You can still continue a run with Kualava down. So, good thing that Furs is down because that is pretty much the only threat in this fight, unless you somehow give Machop a turn, but even, even that isn't very scary. That sense of panic right there, that is not going to stop at any point. I watched a lot of people run this game, and it is just non stop, just like, oh, please don't do that. Oh, please don't do that. Please don't do that. Okay, just do this. Oh, oh you shouldn't have done that. And that's Living why on one this HP. Game... Oh my goodness. If buy it, if I get bite here, that'd be good. Uh rock smash SP. Don't rock smash quill. Okay. <laughs> I love oh my god, C Dot's animations in this game are oh. so good. Uh Koala's in hyper mode. Do we explain hyper mode? Uh yeah, I do want hyper mode. Did we explain it? Oh no, okay, so hyper mode is uh, you have a chance to get into it every time you use Shadow Rush. Uh, it varies, that chance varies depending on your nature, which is why it's so important. Um, hopefully this doesn't hit itself. Okay, well that's fine. That, that kind of sucks that it hit itself because now I have to get into hyper mode again. Uh, but it's it's fine, it's whatever. Um, as long as Espeon doesn't die, I can continue the run pretty easily. Um, so... Considering the fact hyper that mode. They're... Yeah, I mean, hyper yes, mode. Considering the fact that this is a brave Kualava, getting into hyper mode should not be an issue. Hyper mode uh, lets you crit almost every single time with Shadow Rush. And uh, it's pretty good. <laughs> Unfortunately, my crit rates with Shadow Rush on brave natures is really bad. Uh oh. That's okay. Yeah. Um, I mean. Let's not get one, two, fifth, and sixth at least. That's the nightmare scenario. <laughs> yeah, so um, you might be familiar with the concept of the Gen 1 miss, which is a 1256 chance for any move to miss. Uh, this is kind of like that, but it's the 1256 chance just to pop out of hyper mode every turn. Um, and it doesn't it cause me purify, it's just bad. Um, I've seen It seems to only happen at the worst possible times always. That's what I've noticed. Sounds about right. <laughs> It's, it happens a lot more than it should, honestly. We're not in. We're not even using hyper mode and shadow rush for that long. The crits, sure, like if missing a 15, 16. Uh, that that makes sense. I do believe, on average, you miss at least one uh, threat or run, but the one in two fifty six is not supposed to happen as often as it seems to do. So very, very frustrating, especially with the natures that I have a hard time getting back into hyper mode. So I believe we have some plot here, is that right? Yeah, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I, think, I think straight up, uh, they just want, they, they need to like keep an eye on Wes and Mirror B goes back to dance in his cave. So basically they are right. using the Coliseum Challenge, which we'll be taking on now, to distribute Shadow Pokemon to trainers in, in the town. And that's pretty much what they were talking about, that they need to keep up that procedure uh, and continue just distributing as many shadow Pokemon as possible to the common folk and winners of the Colosseum battles. And uh, I don't even know what the lore behind us going into this house is. Uh, there's this guy called Silva who gets upset that the Colosseum is allowed to keep running and so he's gonna go sabotage a windmill which we'll be looking at shortly which provides the electricity for the Colosseum which 
makes the current Coliseum battles able to be run. All right, I have and, a confession uh, to make, and that yeah. was I was trying to I was trying to convince I was trying to hope one of you, one of you would go. Oh yeah, we could do some donations, and then you all started explaining the plot, which is good. <laughs> but oh. I no, no, want to hear people, explain donations. I want to hear, yeah, I want to hear people excited for these Explain donations? Over. Okay, so somebody gives money to charity and we, we take their name and we read it aloud and we read whatever comment. Does that make sense? That's what it is. Oh, okay. okay. Do you have any examples, maybe? Yeah, we got some love for Koi Lava coming in. We have a Let's Go Koi Lava, the Flame Fates Howl for $10 from Dr. Z. OMG, PhD. We also have... I, when describing Koilava, I don't think of it as a fire potato, but this, this donation does. It says, Koilava is a precious fire potato and I love them very much. Thank you for your $25 donation, Vicarious Vice. And just a real quick update on the Leafeon incentive and the Koilava incentive. Right now, Vice is in the lead and Leafeon is in the lead. Vice no. is ahead by $26. <laughs> And Leafeon is ahead by 10. So you could snag that and maybe get yourself in for some fun prizes. Chat, if, Leaf, if Leafeon wins, I'm going to be so unhappy. <laughs> Where Leafeon. are my Bingus team? Bingus. Where's, where's my Bingus team? True. Where, where are all of our Bingus buddies? True. Get the Bingus donations in. But Bingus like donations for Bingus Nation. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no. yeah, we're all Team Vengus here, I believe, so... <laughs> <laughs> I think we have time uh, for a little bit more. Okay, we have a $35 donation saying, I remember Coliseum being my first ever GameCube game. I had so much fun and it's such a unique Pokemon game. Can't wait to watch the run from Psycat. Thank you for that donation, Psycat. Uh, we also have a $25 donation saying good luck for the Kalo run. Hope we'll see the metronome run as well from Apollo Nitz Narski. Oh, hi Apollo Narski. Thank you, thank you. And All right. Oh, sorry. I just wanted to update everyone on the incentive. We about $2,000 raised out of the 6,000 we need. So go ahead, get donating. Please, yeah. please donate for that. Sparkle shift me his copy of XD so I could do that. And I'd I be need very to, sad okay. if I can't. <laughs> I, I gave the context for this a little bit during um, uh, during CrossCode, but I'm going to give you the full context in case you missed it. And so we had the idea to do this metronome incentive, right? And so I asked Echi if Echi could ship his copies to Swift. And he was like, yeah, of course. And then two days later, he opened the case and it was missing. And I was like, okay, well, um, hold on. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me figure this out. And then I asked Sparkle and Sparkle made it happen. Uh, so shout outs to Sparkle. Um, but uh, I had to ask so many, I asked so many people about getting a copy, getting Swift a copy of XD so we can do the Metronome Battle CD. We need to see it or else all that work is for vain, is in vain. Get those donations in. You all know you want the PowerPoint anyways. Come on. Exactly. And uh, also, worst case, I would have tried shipping my PAL copy <laughs> from over from... Oh, Norway. I don't think I could play that. I think that would work. <laughs> I mean, do you have a Wii? <laughs> oh, I do have it. a Wii. Never mind. It would yeah. work. So you would just have to change console. I don't know if we did here in time. That's the that's the thing I was worried about. I was looking at the at the mailing at, at the mailing speeds, like how fast they would get there, and it would looks looked like it would just like make it just in time, which was a little bit sketchy. So it was like, uh, yeah, that could probably not a great idea. That would be a that would be a, a cross continental or like a, a, a cross Atlantic XD shipping uh, sort of escapade. Where XD goes from Norway to the East Coast, like. <laughs> Fortunately, we had to send it from the East Coast to the East Coast, so it wasn't as bad. Yeah, it's uh, and you're right. So I think quite a bit in time. So hopefully, we get that incentive met. So this still this uh, well-traveled XD copy can be shown off uh, in <laughs> all its beauty through the metronome run, which is a. Uh, it's a fun one. It's it's on the main leaderboards as well. But cool little, really quick run. 
Well, uh, if it's too quick, we'll make Swift do it again. Don't worry. True. Oh, yeah. Like if Swift, if Swift just like turn one metronomes like uh, guillotine, and then like it's over in one in one shot, then it's like okay, well, let's prove that that what that wasn't just a fluke. Please do that again, Swift. Come on. Yeah. Right. So you. you no. We will make sure you get your metronomes money worth. Get those donations in. Let's make Swift, because you know, after a long day of, of playing Col Pokemon Coliseum, the most reliable uh, and safe Pokemon speedrun, we got to do something a little random for once. Ava, how many backup saves do you use in marathon runs of this? Oh, I I have like a bunch of memory cards. Like it varies. It depends on how safe I want to be. Um, I mean, there's I would say there's at least like six points. But that's like minimum where you really, really want to save to make sure that nothing is messed up. Obviously, like you can do it without any memory cards, which is still completely fine. But if you want it to run as seamlessly as possible, you really do want all those backups. And you have to have them on separate memory cards. And it's it's a whole ordeal. Like I remember from my first time running this game at the marathon, I, I had like 10 backups saved for something at different memory cards, which were all actually different runs because I don't have a means of copying over the save file. So I basically just set up 10 okay, runs. Okay, hold on. I, I'm sorry to interrupt you. I want I wanted to explain that trick I just did there, right there. Uh, oh, yeah, so no, what I think it's, you it's just saw me do... to use that item. Could you... What? Yeah, okay, yeah. So what I just did was I just used an item that had no effect on my Espeon. So this game is funny. Uh, you cannot actually use X items on another Pokemon. Um, however, there is a glitch in this game where if you use an item that has no effect on the target Pokemon, uh, and then use an X item immediately afterwards, you will have the X item go through. Yeah, so Gen 4 is the first gen where you could use your X items on your partner. You cannot do it in Gen 3, right? It's Gen 4 that lets you do that? I think it's Gen 5. They couldn't let you do it until Gen 5. No, it's Gen 5? Yeah. Man, I think you're right. Yeah, so in Gen 3, you could not do that. Um, you had to use it on the Pokemon whose turn it was. But by using that, uh, that glitch there, you oh, were able goodness. to do it. And that's why this run is only a nightmare instead of a turbo nightmare. Oh yeah, no. The, there were runs pre-X Special Glitch, and uh, I was not around back then, but I've been told it was absolutely horrific to deal with. And uh, I believe that. Uh, it's, uh, I think it's just... if we didn't have X item glitch, I don't think you'd be watching this run right now. <laughs> no, It'd be funny. no. That sounds about right. It just makes the game just, like tick so yeah. much oh, better. Oh, also, I got back into hyper mode there. That was a thirty percent chance to get back into hyper mode. So I'm really glad I got back because I need that. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna need that for a while. It makes just running through the game now so much faster, so much more efficient. If you struggle getting back into hyper mode, it can just be a run killer. So very, very good to get into hyper mode. This next battle, Miras, which is really, really awkward without hyper mode. Yeah. And uh, we'll be using the X special glitch again here if you if you missed it on the first the first try uh, to get a fifty percent range on this Goldeen that we surely always get right. <laughs> Let's see, are we gonna get it? I'll let you know. I'm sorry, I just want to cut in. It looks like we have a new contender for the oh. Espeon name. Oh. Yeah, Bingus was ahead by a dollar, but now Bingus is sitting at one hundred sixteen dollars, and Sarah is sitting at one hundred and twenty-five dollars. Huh. <laughs> it's interesting. I can back that name. <laughs> All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go for this Magnemite OKO, uh, just double target the Goldine. Uh, I learned that quick one from Zeke. Thank you, Zeke. <laughs> Because I saw him do this, and he was like, the Magnemite's just more scary than the Bagon. And I'm like, you're right. You're very right. You're very, very right. I didn't even crit it. Wow. Now, you might be noticing that Magnemite here is a little lumpy. And that's because a really funny thing about Kahlo is that all of the Gen 1 models are from Stadium. <laughs> and all the Gen 2 ones are from Stadium, too. It's, uh, it's, it's even worse than XD. XD just gives you the, the worst possible models ever next to like pretty decent models for the time and just looks extremely jarring. Like Paris and Growlithe especially are, are like, it's an experience, but to say the least. Luckily the Magmite 
uh, was crit next turn. Again, this is a 90% chance to crit, so I'm missing these, like, roughly 10%. It's very funny. Yeah. This is another I range here. It Belly probably bird. wouldn't have killed the Magnemite. Anyways, just looking at the roll it's we got. It's 44%. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not that great. So, so <laughs> quick question. Yes. If people did want to support Team Bingus, how long do they have for that? They have an hour. An hour? Okay. Yes. One hour for Bingusing. All right. But also, we need to get the metronome and the PowerPoint. So there's a lot, there's a lot to be done. Okay. I know. I know. So yeah, we're finishing up the only really Coliseum battles we'll be doing in this round. Well, there's a pseudo Coliseum battle right at the end, I guess. But other than that, this is the final time we'll be actually inside of a, or improperly inside of a Coliseum in this Pokemon Coliseum speedrun. So uh, lore wise here, uh, as I said, the, the these battles are like a distribution thing for Shadow Pokemon. So we're being taken to this suspicious building over here uh, where we're going to be given a Shadow Pokemon, allegedly. <laughs> mm, unfortunately, we got we got found out. We got caught red-handed. So uh, now they're gonna fight us. This fight is it is literally mache. That is what my notes tell me to say. Or tell me to do, not say. I am saying I love it though. Mashing. I also love mashing. I, I don't have to do anything now. The Sienma uh, is really funny in that it really lags my game, and it takes a million years for it to like actually load the fight and animations and stuff, and I don't know why. Uh, it has supersonic. It's very bad if it uses that. Uh, so hopefully it just doesn't use that. Hopefully it just uses Shadow Rush or Wait. Sonic Boom. You yeah. like Sonic Boom? It has supersonic, there's Sonic Boom, there's Shadow. Yeah. Uh, we don't, we, we want, su yeah, we just got Sonic Boom. We want Sonic Boom. We don't want supersonic racing, as I put it. Okay. Yeah, I thought Sonic was yesterday, but I guess, I guess it's today as well. Yeah, we're getting a little bit of Sonic action as well, clearly. So yeah, shout out to the so Sonic runs yesterday. You should definitely watch those when you get the chance. Oh, for sure, for you sure. Haven't. Luckily, uh, Yanma died here. This is the scariest Yanma in the world. Uh, but luckily, uh, it has fainted here, so we're just able to mash A for the rest of the fight, and it should go fine even if we do miss a crit. Because missing crits from here on out, or on this fight in particular, is not that bad. You'll just lose a little bit of time, lose a turn, Etc. So. No, I no. do want supersonic race. Oh, what was that? I'm sorry. I see someone in the chat going, "Everybody, supersonic racing." No, we don't want that. We don't want that. <laughs> no, Swift. I'm Swift. I'm not talking to you. Oh, I, I just wanted to say uh, thank you to Erica Art. <laughs> who says happy birthday to my dog, Sarah, who turned 15 Aww. yesterday. I do believe that is the the donation that put Sarah in the lead. Oh, so that is beautiful. It's such a sweet, such like, a sweet donation. I'm still Team Bingus, but I would be okay with this too. I, 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 I can't lie. Uh, I'm Team Sarah now, I think. So get those donations in to split us. <laughs> in our midst. I'm betraying Team Bingus. Ava's just like hedging in the last minute, man. <laughs> let's see. Whatever, it's fine. Let's see if Bengus can get over the hurdle. There's still plenty of time to get those donations in for the Bengus name, if that is what you desire. Speaking of Bengus, I we have an eleven dollar donation from Sandy saying, "I Bengus, she Bengus, you Bengus, we all Bengus." Please get on the Bingus train and help us reach our goal of naming Espeon Bingus. Bingusology? Yes. The study of Bingus? Bingusology. <laughs> I'd like to think of myself as a, a Bingusol Bing Bing Bingusologist. Oh, that does not work well as a word at all, huh? <laughs> yeah, Bingusologist is definitely pretty awkward, but what else would it be called? <laughs> Um, bing, 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 chat, help us out. <sighs> Anytime I think of Bingus, I just think of Boingus, and it's the, the Lapras just being squished. See, it's not Bingologist, because that's somebody <laughs> who studies, uh, who does bingo runs. They're a Bingologist. Uh, yeah. That's bingo runs. Another. 
Another great profession right there. No, I missed the 15 and 16 on Taylor! Okay, well, at least they use aerial ace. All right, I'm gonna explain ranges now. Let's go. All right, so if y'all saw my 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 very complicated tra damage chart from uh, SGDQ last year, um, it's the same. The damage works the same, but it's the Gen 3 version of it, which is slightly different than when we showed off there. But the main thing is that um, one of the factors in the damage calculation is the randomization factor, which is a random number from 0.85 to 1. Or think about it as from 85 to 100. And that's the percent damage that's being applied, that of the maximum that is going to be applied to uh, as a multiplier. So that means there are 16 um, uh, discrete values that each attack can do. And there are some situations where some of them kill and some of them will not. And we call that a range. So in that case, a 15 16 range means only the lowest possible roll um, doesn't kill. So Espeon's actually very good. It's manipped. This is so you manip one Pokemon in this game, which is the Espeon, and then you just take whatever quill you can get. I could have technically uh, um, edited the quill stats and given it perfect stats and everything, but I thought it'd be a little more interesting to play with a quill that I actually kind of hit, which I did. I did hit this quill. I edited it a little bit just so it's a little bit more safe for the marathon. This is a uh, bandana. I I love the names of this game, Bandana Guy Geats. Yeah, the, the names in this game seem like they've just been put through like a random name, name generator and they took their worst ones. It's it's amazing. Honestly, there are so many, like, you know lots, that, um, so many classics. You know that famous picture of the uh, the the baseball game with all of the, the, the names? Oh, The God. NES baseball? Ah. Uh, Really All right, testing listen. my knowledge. <laughs> I thought you were a baseball fan now. I am, but... A reminder, a baseball games still stream at like 2 a.m. my time, so it's hard. <laughs> okay, that's fair. That's that's fair. That's fair. So my bad. One thing I want to mention is a lot of these trainers actually have a theme to their team. So this guy has focus energy on a lot of Pokemon and Thrash, like he wants to go wild. I missed another crit, but I just one shot the curve on anyways. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. Very, it's very likely to one shot this even oh, without okay, a crit. Okay, cool. That's the, uh, what, fourth miss crit now? It's yeah. uh, not great. As I said, my track like record, <laughs> track record pretty... for Brave is not good for critting. Yeah. I've changed my mind. Chat has, uh, chat has, chat remembers what I'm talking about, and therefore I'm right. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, no, my, my, my knowledge of anything that's not specifically related to the niches I'm into, very poor. Not great. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try to see if I can get Blaze here. So ideally, I do want fighting place. baseball. That's for the SNES. My bad. Ooh. Fighting baseball. I recommend looking up those names if you haven't seen them. They're very funny. I also recommend donating. I'm full of recommendations True. today. Speaking of donations, we just got a few more in, and I'd like Heck to thank yeah. everybody. We got a donation from Trey VC. It's two hundred and fifty dollars, and it says. I played this game so many times as a kid, and I never knew that you could get a starter other than Bailey from The Closet Guy. Thank you so much for that generous donation. We also have a $50 donation. I know we said trans rights earlier, so got a $50 donation saying, Koilava is so brave, coming out and transitioning. Thank you, Swiftily, for showcasing this amazing game. Let's get that metronome running, run going, y'all. From Eva Grimm. Thank you so much for that generous donation. And that's, an, that's an amazing donation. <laughs> Considering great. the cool of his nature is brave. Just a quick update on that metronome run. Right now we're at $2,597.40 donated out of 6,000. So we're making some progress, but I think maybe we should get uh, some Pokemon Dex entry donations or something to just speed it up a little bit. I know this is a long run, but it's not gonna last forever, everyone. Go ahead and get donating. Oh, how good external. All right. So, Ava, yes. tell us about Bayleaf percent. Oh yeah. So you can run Bayleaf in this game. 
it's slow. Uh, Bayleaf is the worst uh, of the three possible starters you can choose from between Cock and Quill. And it is one because it has terrible stats, but also because you have to use the move Racer Leaf a lot. And the Racer Leaf animations hits obviously both. Sorry, targets, Swift, which, we can't learn it. Which is almost oh. never useful. But, um, so yeah, that just makes Bay Bayleaf very, very slow. But it, we do have a route for it if you're interested in running this game, but don't fancy yourself running either Croc or Kulama. Fortunately, Voltorb did not decide to hit Kulama. I did want it to hit me there, but now I have to carry Hyper Mode for a little bit longer. Which is fine, it's just slightly annoying. But uh, we'll just call on the next fight. Oh yeah, no. keeping Hyper Mode, it's, it's like... Honestly, I feel like it's underrated at this point. Like, it's it's not that slow. It loses a little bit of time, but it's... It's perfectly. It fine, does, but it would have been. It would have been optimal. <laughs> it would have been optimal, yeah, to be hit into blanks by now, because I. Uh, Not to mention my shadow rush crit rate. All right, yeah. Swift. Yeah. If you ever run this at uh, at a uh, an in person event, we have to yeah. all dress up like Ryder Riley. I'm down. Absolutely. I fantastic don't. Outfit. I don't know if I have an outfit like this. We could make it happen. Yeah. Hmm. Look I at make, that hat. Can I, can I make a hat like that? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. You made my hat, so I, be I believe in you. It's true. I did make your hat. It's a pretty good hat. It's so good. I wear it all the time. Swift, I have it in with me. Swift made me a Drift Loon hat. It's adorable. I love it. So here we're calling out a hyper mode, because uh, I really want Flame Wheel for this next fight, admittedly. The uh, snow run's just really annoying. Uh, it doesn't, unfortunately, that means I don't one round this Swablu, uh, but I'm not really too concerned about it. It could also, okay, never mind, it just misses. That was funny. I did it Fury uh, Attack. It did Fury Attack and then it missed on Quill. Yeah, that is, <laughs> um, that is optimal in this scenario. Uh, you can also choose to not call out of Hyper Mode there and do the Hyper Mode setup on the next fight. Uh, it's like, variable depending on your stats, but obviously we, we kind of want to call out as early as possible. But uh, getting be, not being Blaze here makes the, the next fight like potentially a little bit riskier, but it shouldn't be like a huge issue. I mean, uh, I'm out of uh, water gun range, so this should be fine. Yeah. If we're most, are we dead to crit? We are, right? Uh, we yeah. are dead to crit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we are like, dead to crit. We don't get crit. Easy. I didn't remember yeah. what so, HP we were at. <laughs> Yeah, crits are 1 in 16 in this game. Uh, generally, if, I, if if something crits me, I'm usually dead. Sometimes I'm not, uh, but sometimes I, I am. In this case, I am. Uh, yeah. So hopefully just no crit, but also the AI is random here, so. Yeah, that's so. feel. Look if it does use water gun on me, I get put into blaze, which I don't think we've actually explained blaze. I just did got water gun, so let's see if it hits cool. Uh, Alright, so if you're, nope. if you're, I think, if, if you're Blaze, it means you're like, you're very cool, you're not really getting, nothing really, really phases you, you know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> so Blaze is an ability, uh, all the starters get their own abilities called like Torrent, Overgrow, uh, Blaze, stuff like that. Uh, they all work very similarly in that they boost the, uh, the type of move that is that is like the same type you start with. So, grass moves, it's overgrow. Uh, uh, blaze, it's fire type moves. So, when we're at one third of our HP or lower, our fire type moves get boosted by fifty percent, and that is really good. <laughs> so, I kind of wanted to try to get at low HP here. Yeah. Also, I've heard to note that Quilla is holding charcoal as well, which boosts the damage of fire type moves, which means we're doing even more damage. And we'll be picking up an item later that we can explain when we get to that, that will also be boosting psychic type moves for Aspion. So we'll be using both the charcoal and that item coming up. But it's just incredibly useful that Quill comes with that item, uh, and it makes a lot of ranges just possible. That wouldn't have been possible without it. Yeah, it's very funny because like um, type boost items are pretty bad and like competitive, but are like amazing in speedruns. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. Like if you can get them and they're like in an accessible area, you always get them. Like even something like the yeah. metronome that increases with using the same move over and over is just 
can just be great for speedruns and a lot of speedruns do hey, end up using those kind of items. Hey, speaking of metronome, how are we doing on that? That is a great question. So far, we've raised $2,672.40 out of the 6000 we need. And looking at the time, we have maybe about, what, three hours left on that? Uh, I, I, I believe. I believe. Yeah. We, we really need to pick this up, chat. I know you're, you're donating, but uh, maybe we can, can encourage some stuff. Let's see. Let's look at our bid wars. It looks like Vice is still in the lead for Quailava. Remember, Quailava and Espeon, both of those nickname bid wars close in about 30 minutes? Yes. Um, so far, Sarah is in the lead for Espeon. Out of, I don't think uh, that's true anymore. Oh, is it not? Let's check. Oh, Bingus is back in the lead with a yeah, $146. <laughs> uh, so far, that bid war has raised $591. And Vice is still in the lead for Quay Lava. It's $126. Uh, and that bid war has raised $277. Remember, when you donate, put your donation towards the metronome incentive. It doesn't automatically go there. You have to manually input it. But go ahead and get donating. Like I said, I'd love to read some of your favorite Pokemon. Or maybe, I know, May, you like doing Pokemon cries. I guess. <laughs> oh, God. I, it's more I like people donating for a good cause, and I will do bo uh, Pokemon Cries to make that happen. I'm, I'm terrible at Pokemon Cries, but uh, if we... I'll, I'll, I'll do it as well, like, for, if people get those donations in. Uh, although I can't promise any high-quality cries. Now, if you want a high-quality cry, you want you want to donate for Swift to do Togepi. I was gonna say, that's Swift's like the Togepi. only cry I can offer. Swift's Togepi is unreal Oops. good. You can also Pumpkaboo donate and we'll Pumpkaboo for all Pumpka you. Oh. And that's a... that's a promise. That is amazing and it'll be silly. Everybody will have a good time, so go ahead and get donating. Exactly. I'd also like to thank Draco for the $50 donation. They say good luck on the run, Swift, and Fingus is a rather funny name, so here you go. Thank you, Thank Draco. You Do we have time for more? Yes. Yeah, yeah. go ahead. Oh, I have a few stocked up, so. Uh, let's see. We have a $5 donation from Otorisk. It says to Swift, CJ, and I say hi. <gasps> hi, Otorisk. Thank you. And CJ as well. We also have a $25 donation from Bronxosaurus. It says, a game with two, my two favorite Pokemon as starters. Count me in. And we have a $5 donation from Zooptic. It says, well, I was going to come up with some with a witty comment, but all I can think is Quill better not be too EP and actually hit some Fire Blast. EP. <laughs> oh, yeah. Love fire that. Blast. Everyone's favorite Pokemon move. I love Fire Blast. Y'all like eighty percent. It's my favorite number. It's a, it's a round number, at least. It's um, yeah, it, it's fun. Yeah. We do love gambling, and uh, usually in Pokemon speedruns, when they use low accuracy moves, uh, they're afforded the possibility to actually use an accuracy boosting item. We will not be doing that. So. That is coming up later, but it's definitely one of the things that makes this game have so much variance. Yeah, we got a really major scary fight coming up here right now. Uh, this is Firma. There are many jokes you can Firma. make with this name, like Firma985, or I like to say Firma Gert, because it's funny. In 2010s. Um, Thanks, Swift. What year is it? Uh, it's, it's the year 2020. Oh. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> maybe maybe 2010. Um, but anyways, this fight is really scary. Uh, Mantine is just really terrifying Mon. Uh, it has Bubble Beam. It hits pretty hard. Uh, it's a shadow Pokemon, so it has a lot of stat variants. Uh, Bubble Beam can also speed drop you. And this Apom is a range. Uh, hopefully we get it. It's a somewhat favorable range, about 55%. But... If we don't, hopefully our Quilava survives a bubble beam. Uh, this is uh, we actually... did not get it. Uh-oh. 
This is the point of, there's a major, a major point of contention between me and the Coliseum community. I'm at odds with many members, by that I mean Jordan. Um, <laughs> because I love Mantine. Mantine is my favorite Pokemon. Uh, I adore ma everything about Mantine, and the Kalo community hates Mantine, because Mantine destroys your runs. I'm a um, to which I say, skill issue. Yeah, getting 10% foul volume speed dropped. And crit. <laughs> it's not fun, but it is And I just issue. got crit by Astonish! Cool. <laughs> oh. So, this APOM staying alive is bad because it will spam Astonish, which means Espeon can't hit anything, so we actually... And since it's shifted to Espeon, we have to use moves with the Umbreon to actually get the APOM out of the fight. Instead of, if we had gotten the 55% range, that would not be an issue, and we could just... Nice crit. Yeah, simply <laughs> yeah, like clean matter. up the fight a lot easier. But uh, alas, that APOM range might be one of the most annoying ranges to miss on the game, and now you get to see how the fight plays out when that happens. And now uh, we have Furret. Shout out to Tippy. Oh yeah, shout out to Tippy! I love her. She's my best friend, and every time I see Furret, I think of her. But unfortunately, I have to. I have to kill the Furrets, and I'm very sad. <laughs> Furret is also right, evil in this game. What were you saying? I just said bye, Tippy, because. Oh yeah. Holy. And Bubble Beam I mean, just crit me too. Does this look like the face of mercy? Sh sure does. Also that. We're, this is so. This is pretty much uh, worst case scenario, except we haven't gotten a bubble beam speed drop yet. If we had gotten bubble beam speed drop instantly, that that would just be the absolute worst case scenario for this fight, and it's awful because then Mantine is very likely to outspeed you, and you can kind of just get heal looped a bit, and uh, you really do want your healing items. And I just got feet speed dropped. This is, <laughs> maybe you shouldn't this say anything. <laughs> Alright, so this right here, this is Colosseum Gaming. Yeah, this... I do feel like sometimes at marathons, this game doesn't actually get to be shown of how it's, you know, supposed to be experienced, but I do think we're getting the authentic Colosseum experience here. Although we do still outspeed oh, yeah. here, which is nice. It's not that likely to outspeed, outspeed with speed I am still gonna heal probably next turn, in case it's a speed tie. I have, I have lost runs to speed tie from speed drop that I didn't realize was a speed tie. That's why I'm healing. Okay, uh, either it was a speed tie and I won it, or it just wasn't a speed tie, but I don't want to risk it, so. That's Mantine down. Uh, that was a pretty bad fight. Normally I save before that. Uh, I kind of forgot to do that. But I was like, oh, it's fine, I'll just win. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's like the average call of fight, honestly. Yeah. They're all like this. I know, it's, there's just so many things that can happen that getting an actual run without anything like this happening is pretty much exceedingly unlikely, even more so than in normal Pokemon speedruns. So, you know, it's fun. This isn't even the longest flowchart. That one's like not even that long of a flowchart. Yeah, no. The <laughs> yeah, it's just bad. Yeah, because this one only has like two branches, whereas the, uh, the other flowcharts have a lot of branches. <laughs> Especially the very later like ones. Venus! Venus is a lot of branches. Yeah, because... I think we got... Sorry, go ahead. No, I was just gonna say, because there are there's so much variance in so many different scenarios, you have to map out every single one. And we keep finding things that aren't properly mapped out, even to this day. So, like, because there will be leads oh, yeah, or no, combos, <laughs> etc. that just haven't been properly routed, because random things will happen. It's fun. I still learn new things to this day about this game, and it's really funny. All right, so here we're gonna oh, do. There's a shadow Pokemon. I yeah. love that she does that every it's time. It's Quillfish because Quillava is a fish. Get it? Uh, is that why? I don't. Wait, I'm sorry. I have a donation that's is a hundred is fifteen dollars, and it says Quillava looks like an aquatic species. Must be a fish from <laughs> Evincia. They must be on Wait, the same team with as you. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? Well, love is a fish. Yeah. I don't... <laughs> it's, a, it's a fish. It's, a, the... it's okay. So to explain a little bit, because I gotta explain the joke. Um, the Colo Discord 
uh, since they used to use Croconaw, they called Croconaw a fish, and now we have Palawa, which is also a fish. Also, I got crit by Headbutt on Espeon. That was that was very nice of that. It's fine, because I was going to go down and save at the healing machine anyways. Why does Lanoon look so mad? That's a good question. Well, probably Wait. because... Maybe because it's got low base stats. I would also be upset. That's fair. Lanoon looks like he's scheming. He is scheming. This Lanoon... Very annoying, because if you don't... If the Goldeen supersonics you, which it can do, and you don't hit through, this... Um, this Lanoon can just continuously flinch you with headbutt, which makes this fight super slow. At the same time, you're hitting yourself in confusion, and it's just a total nightmare. I have reset on this fight a couple of times, actually, even though it looks totally it's, inconspicuous. It's not great. Um, also, you're going to see me backtracking here a lot, so you cannot save in the game unless you go to a PC, uh, which I don't know why they made it like this. So while I'm here, I'm just going to take the healing machine. But I want to save because I'm about to do a catch that is absolutely required, and if I kill it, uh, that's not good. I don't There's know how some... to play the game without it. Are there some donations that could be done while... Of course, while... of course. We are getting some of those Pokemon Dex entries coming in. We got one from Pink Exclamation Point. Uh, it's thirty dollars, and it said, "Sad to hear Bayleaf isn't good for this run, as Chikorita is one of my favorite starters." Here's one hundred and fifty-two dimes for Chikorita, and one hundred and forty-eight dimes for my all-time favorite that also won't show up in this run, Dragonair. Always love GDQ and FF Pokemon runs, and love supporting charities like Malala Fun. We also got another one. It's to, uh, 2480 for Tyranitar. It says, Hi, Swift. Good luck on the run. Please save the Tyranitar. Okay, thanks. <laughs> From Sanjan. I was like, that has to be Sanjan, right? Sanjian. It's going to be Sanjan. <laughs> Bad news for Sanjan. Shout out to Sanjan <laughs> having trouble, or ha having trouble, having the time to, uh, to produce and donate at the same time. Wow. Yeah, She's no, so I'm, based well. I know. I'm, I, I agree. I agree. Absolutely. Also, also, after that lovely clay lava or fish uh, explanation, somebody added fish as an option for the clay lava nickname. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, right. that is so I may amazing. Or may not, I may or may not be guilty um, of, oh. of, of, of right, being I'm the person fish. that donated 15 for naming clay so lava fish. If you want clay lava to be named fish, we just have to raise a hundred and eleven dollars so it's equal to vice and then another dollar so it beats vice so go ahead and get donating <laughs> um our team being fish and bingus would be just incredible absolutely impeccable so get those fish donations and we need to push for fish being the name it's uh, it's just prompt theme i mean koala is clearly an aquatic species all right meditite no, it broke no, free of the ball. It did. This metaphyte is very scary. Now it's high jump kick. Um, it, both missing high jump kick is bad, but it hitting high jump kick on Koala especially is also very bad. So ideally it uses yeah, Calm Mind uh, and doesn't do any damage to us. Just use Confusion on Espeon, so... It says if you miss high jump kick, you keep going and crash and take... Is it 50% in this game? It's a quarter? 25%. Quarter? Yeah, that's not right. Or a quarter, yeah. Um, so uh, hopefully we just snag it. And then, uh, did you explain why we want Meditate? It is holding an item called a Twisted Spoon, and that boosts your Psychic type attacks for, by 10%, so you really want it for Espeon. Specifically Espeon. Uh, this is in the PowerPoint, by the way, so uh, if you want to see that, oh, here comes my jump again. Kick. We gotta get that metronome run. Oh yeah, here we have I jump kick. Everyone's favorite move and is the other side. So this is a very, very unfortunate outcome because we have to. Yeah, it's uh, th this fight is just awful, and this is why we have to save for it because a metatite can also die if you crit it. For example, if you're gonna be damaging the metatite, which is, I mean, sometimes you go for that, sometimes you just go for the back on strat but it's it's it depends what your personal preferences and if you're 
like behind or not, but yeah, this this is not playing out well considering. Okay. I did not cut. crit it, thankfully. I like the little dance it does that when you like taunt you when it breaks out of the ball. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's so cool. I, I love. Uh, hopefully, that. this new mole used on Espion. Okay, cool. That was very lucky, honestly. <laughs> um, what's the cuts chance for for a minute? Uh, it's 40%, same as Palava, but now that it's oh. uh, this low, it's like 99.9%. Yeah, it's uh, I mostly it's just delayed right. it because, you know, I could have just caught it. And these yep. other Pokemon on the field are more scary to me. This uh, meta type also matters for more than uh, its item push experience. We actually use it very, very late on. So Swift will be actually be checking this Meditite's defense stat. And knowing that is going to be important for whether a certain Pokemon later on in the game is shifted to it or not. Uh, a shifted AI, I guess. Uh, do we explain yeah, that now? Yeah, we talked about shifted... No, I don't think we have. Oh, no. Okay, so shifted AI. Um, this game, fun. High variance in stats. So sometimes you'll get a quill. Uh, we used it used to be also be happen with Espeon, but now our requirements are so high it doesn't really happen. But if Quill has really, really low or awkward or very, very high stats, it can actually shift the AI. So the normal expected outcome that we have planned for is not gonna happen because the AI sees that it actually does more damage on Typhlosion, for example. So it'll target Typhlosion instead of Espeon, which is what you usually get if the stats are around what you expect to normally have. And that is pretty much how Luckily Shift the AI just works. just on that threshold. 45 and is uh, perfectly fine. Okay, so the Metatite is good? Yeah. Okay, so the Metatite is gonna have a, it's gonna Shift the AI, which is what we want. Shift the AI away that from us, to be honest. sucks <laughs> if, if it doesn't. It doesn't? No, 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 it, that fight sucks if it doesn't. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's pretty much routed around getting a Metatite that does get shifted, but you can you can still complete the run without it, but it'll be quite a bit slower. It was, I guess, still a pretty recent route change, introducing Metatite as an actual valuable memory during the run. We used to use Plusle oh. pretty much for that. Chad is confused that you, you didn't do the ball switch trick. Apparently. Oh, so I didn't do it because it's 99.9% .9 chance to catch. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> and we're not going to need the Great Bull again. So, no. Okay. Getting this rid is of the it last is catch the of the run. Or that was the last catch of the run. We will gain an additional party member, but it's not something we capture. Hopefully we get Yon here again. That'd be really nice. Yeah. Or this This stone spar is also scary. A general theme in this game, Pokemon, the... Pokemon you don't expect to be scary, they're scary. Either because they're super oh, high level... You. I, ex I expect Mantine to be scary. True, true. Yeah, no, I do expect Mantine to be scary as well. Surely it's as good as Skarmory, no, right? Just... Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I like it more, I but... should've just blamed you. Well, actually, no, I can't see. Oh. Well. So, yeah. There's a... Uh... This fight can go pretty badly, especially if you get crit by Dunsparce. Usually it's fine, but yeah, you don't want to get paralyzed here, ideally. Although, it's not Luckily the end of the world. Hopefully just use Yawn again, so... <laughs> now so, I don't have to take the healing machine. Yep. So the healing machine is coming up here, which is actually another one of the safe spots. This is another one of those safe spots that are actually placed pretty conveniently. I don't think we'll be taking it, but... It's still like a really, really convenient spot to save, and like Mirror B is generally. You know what? I'm not gonna say anything because I'm gonna jinx myself otherwise. <laughs> uh, while we're walking over, can we do a donation? Yes. Yeah, of course. If everybody's good with that, sorry. Yeah. We have a seventy dollar donation. It says seventy di uh, seven hundred dimes for my favorite Pokemon, Sylveon who is also a fish from Tenzin Coden. <laughs> Thank you so much for that lovely donation. There's so many, there's so many fishes in Pokemon. I know, there right? Are, there are a lot of, I mean, it is kind of like a type. Yeah, there well, is too much type water. water type. Fish type, as we all know. You're in a desert re region. That's 
moving on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> moving on, we have a hundred and fifty-six dollar donation for the. <laughs> it says one hundred and fifty-six dollars for this wonderful quilava. Trans rights are human rights, and they're also quilava rights. From Trinket Holloway, thank you so much for that lovely donation. I I like the the deep lore for uh, trans quilava that we have developed here. Me too. I think this it's is perfect. Now can this is now canon. Yeah, absolutely canon. I think we're we're gonna introduce that into the canon right now. Exactly. I need to I need to let the community know. <laughs> so yeah, this uh, it's like it's it's like trans Meryl, but it's Volava. Yeah, that's the same <laughs> I thing. I forgot about that glitch. <laughs> it's in, no no it's in, it's not it's not a glitch. It's in Panda. It's good. Oh, you're right. Sorry, sorry. But yeah, this this Swablu here that you saw get damaged earlier, it can actually die in one hit from a plus one fusion. Exceedingly rare, but it can. Um, it also just died of a crit. <laughs> yeah, that as well. <laughs> but this Lombre is also a range, and uh, luckily it goes I got down. it, yeah. That Lombre range is very annoying. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah, it's a 10 and 16 if you miss it. It just, I mean, missing ranges in this game is usually not great. You re really don't want the Pokemon to hit you because it's slow since there's animations on, but also too, they can just kind of hurt sometimes and you really don't want that damage. Yep. I like that Beldum's like uh, da taking damage animation is just freaking the heck out. It's so goofy. <laughs> it's oh, so it's, goofy. It's incredible. Like some, some of the animations in this game are impeccable and I mean, they might be dated, they might be odd, but honestly, like, I love a lot of the animations. All right, Especially this the damage-taking animations. This is everyone's favorite character. I love uh, right. Roselia's damage-taking animation, by the way, because it's very sassy. All right, so, um, how do you feel about fighting different Pokemon? Lame. Too bad. Uh. Too bad. <laughs> why, why would we fight different uh. Pokemon when... Dancing. Twenty-eight thirty. Twenty-eight. So. If it's the twenty-nine, I'll go for twenty-nine. It's thirty-one. Mm, oh. Not ideal. That's okay. fine. Uh, okay. It's just this is a fifteen and sixteen. This is thirty-one here and plus three, which we'll be setting up to because both of these will be colors because of the AI. We'll be going for a rain dance here, which pretty much gives us a free setup turn. And we'll be setting up a Spanta plus three here and going for the 31 here, and it's a 15 and 16 range. If that is missed, then the Decolo will leech seed. If that does happen, we hope leech seed misses because it's a 90% accuracy move, but if it doesn't, it's very slow and almost always a reset um, because it just, the animation takes so much time every single turn. And usually, yeah, it's just a huge run killer, but luckily it doesn't happen often because the range is very, very good. Um, Jordan, the numbers they were just saying, just, it was not, it, it's, it's the levels of the, there's four different Okay, levels. I didn't miss it, <laughs> thank Ludicolo. goodness. Okay. Danger pretty much over, unless we get very, very unlucky. Real so, quick, is now the time to update on the naming incentives? Yes. Okay. We're coming close to the end of this, everybody, so if you want to donate and change something, now's your time to do it. Right now, Bingus is in the lead for Espeon's nickname. It is at $146. Sarah is at $125. And Leafeon is at $105. If you guys want to go ahead and donate to change that, time to do it is now. And Quailava, right now, Vice is in the lead at $126. But... If you are on Team Fish, which I think we're all on Team Fish. Fish, um, come back. <laughs> it's at $105. So we just need about $12 to raise. Wait, no, that's on 12 <laughs> I can do math. Uh, I believe that is $21. Or $22 to get Fish in the lead. So go ahead and get donating. You're running out of time. Vote Fish, vote Fish. And vote Bingus. And vote Metronome Run. There's a lot of voting to be done. Do your civic <laughs> duty. Also, uh, you'll notice I'm keeping the level 28 alive. Usually you don't uh, if you're like doing a, a run run. 
but I uh, am scared of the 29 because it has Astonish and it outspeeds me and it flinches me and then it just makes the fight really miserable if that happens. So we're not doing that. We're just leaving it alive because I'm guaranteed to outspeed it. So, talking about- but, uh, That's the fight! Yeah, so talking about Me? speed real quick though, like, this, this is the reason why we need <laughs> um, 27 to 31 IV speed, or you will get outsped by Swift Swim Lady Cola on this fight. Uh, but, you can run all the way down to 19 speed on Espeon, and it's something that people used to do. Uh, they don't do anymore, we've gotten very, very strict for it, but if you want it to be less reset heavy, and especially if you want to be doing less rerolls, setting it that, that is perfectly viable. You're just gonna get outsped here, which is still like not the end of the world, and some Shadow Pokemon will be more likely to outspeed you, but it's not like the end of the world if you really, really need to get around going. Um, I think so. After this, we're gonna get our, our last friend, right? Yeah. Yeah. I bet you'll never guess uh, who it is. It's, uh, it's another. <gasps> it's not. They're lying to me. <laughs> Don't tell me I'm lying to her because this is a Gen 3 game. Oh wait, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. This is Gen 3. Yeah, it can't. It literally cannot. <laughs> Drifloon did not exist yet. This is in the dark before time. It is uh, called Pokemon Coliseum, and it does have Shadow Pokemon. So yes, it exactly. is dark. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Clearly. How did I? How did I manage back then? I just, I simply do not understand. Without, without Drifloon, I am nothing. Well, I can still have Mantine, but it's still. Also. My uh, Plusle's just like rocking out back there, huh? Plusle's great. How it's it's jumping so high. Yeah, it's a rabbit. I get. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's it, yeah. Your rabbits just not jump. Claw was a fish. So got that's a rabbit. Yeah, claw yeah. was a fish. Plusle's a rabbit. So we're, we're, we're just learning so much about the biology now, right? of Pokemon in this game. Hmm? We're just doing some walking and some plot, right? Yeah. yeah. Can we, uh... Can we hear from the community? Of course, of course. I just... I'm so proud of Fish, everybody. Fish... Fish came in from behind. Right now, Fish is at $205 ahead of Vice for the Koi Lava nickname. So thank you, everybody, for donating for that. We also have a $25 donation from Sky. It says, fish, 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 fish. I'm always saying this. This is amazing. Thank you all so much for coming out for fish. I feel like I've <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so glad for all this fish here. support. <laughs> we also have a $5 donation. Uh, getting again uh, one of those uh, dex entry donations it says hello thank you for playing my favorite pokemon game i'm having so much fun watching my favorite pokemon is of course celebi however i also love leafeon here's to bid here's the bid here's to the bid so leafeon can shine in the spotlight from jesse mcgrath Rodowski, the artist we also have a lot of $25 donations. There must be some fancy prizes you can get into for those $25 donations. We've got a $25 donation from The Rarest. We have a $25 donation from the from Crabbledus. And we have a $25 do donation from Mural. Thank you all for those generous donations. I didn't keep going. Oh wow! Okay, we have, <laughs> yeah, we literally just have plot here. That's fine. We have a twenty-one dollar donation that says "fish, fish" from Eventia. People are big fans of fish. We have a twenty-five dollar <laughs> donation that says "fish smiley face" from New Amber. Amber, Amber, Amber. let's go! Coming out for the fish. You'll love to see it. Don't tell Juan. Juan hates, hates fish. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. No, no. What do you mean? Juan's gonna love seeing seeing this just incredible, incredible Kulava with its just 
impeccable name. I'm sure. I'm sure he'll he'll have no choice where it's about that. Well, I don't think Koalava can learn Peck, so that does make it impeccable. Oh yeah, you're <laughs> right. I'm so I'm sorry. It is not impeccable. I'm also sorry. <laughs> There's no need to be sorry. <laughs> uh, no, but yeah, thank you all so much for coming out and uh, supporting this great cause by naming the uh, honey badger fish. Actually, no, it's not a honey badger. It is. It is just fish. Yeah, I'm sorry again. <laughs> it's okay. We're all we're, you're le we're all learning today. Um, yeah. So are we at fish and bankus then. Oh, I'm so down for that. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it looks like Leafeon jumped ahead suddenly. Oh no! Oh, we only oh, got like ten minutes. Please Leafeon. don't let Leafeon win. Leafeon is sitting at two hundred forty-six dollars ahead of Fingus, which is sitting at one hundred and forty-six dollars. Everybody, I know it's a stretch, but ten minutes, we could get there. Please if donate so we can name Quilla. As beyond Fingus. If Leafeon beats Fingus, this will be the worst day of my life. If um, everyone in chat right now donates one dollar, we could probably get there. Absolutely. I, if everyone in chat donates one dollar for Bingus, some of you should donate for Metronome. True. Very true. You could like donate five dollars, put one dollar to Bingus and the other four to Metronome. True. Speaking I think there's a five dollar minimum, so you would have to do five, but Oh okay. <laughs> Speaking of that metronome run, we are currently sitting at $2,962.70 out of the $6,000 we need. So that's about just over $3,000 that we need to raise before the end of the run. And that incentive does have to be met before the end of the run. So go ahead and get donated. If you're not sure of how, type exclamation point donate in the chat and there will be a link that gets you there. I really don't want Leafy on the win, man. <laughs> yeah, I, I believe in you. Chat, please come through for me. Yeah, come through for me. Although Leafeon is a classic name, I do believe Espeon's at Marathons have been named Leafeon before. It's the worst thing I've ever heard in my life. That's so that's such that's so mean to Espeon. It's quite rude. Espeon's just so much better than Leafeon. I know. Espeon's great. I Espeon is a pleasant cat, and Leafeon is like a rotting lettuce. Ooh. That's so I mean, feel like a little extreme. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a huge fan of Leafeon, but uh, yeah, sure, it works, I guess. But uh, I don't know. I don't know about rotting stuff. You, you just describing that uh, made me think of the the image where it's Leafeon. It's like the chicken on the, the lettuce on the McChicken or something. <laughs> I've made chat so mad at me. <laughs> oh my god. Oh you no. Upset the fans? I feel like I feel like you might have accomplished the opposite of what you intended. <laughs> I love all my evolutions equally. I don't care for Leafeon. Well, if it helps, it does look like we are getting some bing <laughs> donation. Bingus, yes! come on! We have a $25 donation from Sky. It says, Bingus, 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 Bingus. <laughs> Thank you so much for that lovely donation. We have a $5 donation from Chase. It says, Bingus, Kingus. <laughs> I, wait, I get a little bit Bingus, Kingus. Don't, oh, Carrie regrets having me. That's, that seems a little bit mean. <laughs> Damn. It's, uh, it's rough out here. Brutal. <laughs> can we please read that? Let's see, Chad. We're getting close. Maybe Fingus can pull ahead. I believe. I also believe in Fingus. I'm sure it'll work out. So, yeah, we're just finishing up the final fight here uh, before we actually head into sort of the, the boss battle of this area to give a little bit of insight into into what's actually going on in the game right now. And um, are you taking off charcoal? I'm doing charcoal with struts, yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm getting rid of the charcoal. So we're going to take off the charcoal here that I was 
hyping up earlier, saying it was super useful. And that is actually to make place setup for the next area a lot simpler. It depends a little bit on the combo and stuff like that, but basically it's it's just a fast way to get low HP. Uh, and there's a Pokemon that will always target Kulava with a move, and you pretty much just try to manip um, Kulava getting hit low enough because it's gonna mirror code. And you want that mirror code to do enough damage to put Kulava really low, but not so much that it kills. And if they do keep charcoal on, that will kill. So ideally, um, most of the vulnerable Kulavas will actually just do the strat. If your special attack is too good, it doesn't work though. Also, uh, we got this fight here. This is random. Uh, Pikachu can win, if people are wondering. Nothing special happens. It's still treated as if uh, Egan was defeated. But uh, it's happened before. Uh, him on top's also holding a Bright Powder, so sometimes Quick Attack misses, and it's really funny. It's not in the uh, the fight that when you fight it, though. They take it off. Yep. Ideally, ideal Quick Attack uh, misses, and you get or you get a crit from Shadow Rush because Pika never dies in one hit. Real quick, I want to jump in. Somebody okay. donated for Leafy and Fish to be even. They're both sitting at $271. Binkus is so close. It is just $30 <laughs> behind. Oh, come on. We can do We can get the Binkus. Give me a second. Also, we got a very good combo here. Oh, yeah. It's coming up in like three minutes or five minutes. So. Get the donos in it here when it changed that. I just confusioned the wrong mon. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's not fine. Yeah. That was a very that was a very oopsie part on my part. They both look blue, and I'm used to being in slot two. I mean, it is fine. We're just gonna lose some experience with Kuama here. Uh, no, but I, I, I think Espeon dies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I mean... Alright, it's okay. I'm gonna have to take the healing machine, though. Yeah. This it's is... fine, it just gives people a little bit more time to, to uh, get those uh, naming bid war donations in. Exactly, we're stalling True. for Bingus. Stall for Bingus! That is not what I said. I would never say this. Instructions unclear. That's pretty good. I like that. I thought it was really good. They keep the donations coming uh, because there's actually still a little bit of time to get them in before this fight is over. Although we are cleaning up now, that Hitmon top, fun fact, at plus two is still a range to die because funny random variants. It needs to be pretty much max special defense. But yeah. So uh, now the fight is pretty much over. It's it's a little bit awkward that we lost quite a lot of experience here. On the Kulava, but it's not the end of the world. The most important part is that we actually keep Espeon experience intact, although that is also fixable, but it makes it a little bit scarier for a single fight. But other than that, it's completely fine to miss, a, miss out on a little bit of experience before this point, but ideally. Yeah, this, this Kulava is like. 
it doesn't have to really worry about any ranges in particular, so it's fine if it misses it. It does suck a little bit, but it's not too big of a deal. Oh, yeah, no, for sure. Real quick, just to jump in real quick again about that incentive. Uh, Bingus is in the lead. Yes. Everybody. <gasps> yes. That Bingus. incentive has raised over $900, and Bingus is sitting at $312 raised, Leafy on behind at $276, and Fish. Fish is sitting pretty at $276. Uh, above Vice, which is sitting at 126. So thank you all for your generous donations. So I think every I think everything's every uh never mind. Keep donating for Rangas. <laughs> yeah, we don't we don't we gotta wait until we go purify Kulava. Yeah, you're still good about. Which is in very soon. Yeah, it's it's How pretty close much are now. We to that, by the way. Uh, yeah. we got like three minutes. Yeah, it's probably oh, no. more like two until we have to close the... Yeah. So, well, then. if you want to change anything, now's the time. <laughs> but you need to be quick. The only thing you should be changing is the number next to Bingus, making it going up. So, uh, you yeah. can read some donations, I think. Yeah, you can read donations here. Uh, this is uh, even more lore and then purification real quick, so got plenty of time here. Great. It looks like we have somebody splitting their donation between Leafeon and Metronome. They say, splitting my donation donation between Leafeon and Metronome. Hashtag free Leafeon. There's a $10 donation from Zab Zabmatis. <laughs> we have more Leafeon love. They say, or it's $10 from Anonymous. They say, Leafeon for the win. Chat, chat, Vingus, please. Please do <laughs> we it got, for Vingus. We got one minute. Okay, we have a $10 donation from Tempest Mask. They say, the amount of nostalgia I have for Pokemon Coliseum cannot be understated. I still have my copy of the game and XD Gale of Gar Darkness, and this game defined quite a bit of my Pokemon childhood, which I appreciate so much for the memories, the music, and then some fun. Fun fact, this composer went on to score Pokemon Shuffle. Anyway, seeing Coliseum Showcase on the GTQ channel makes my day. It's nice to see Vincia, a wonderful person I recently met on commentary alongside May. Good luck, Swiftily. May the power of Salsa and Fingus be with you. All right, I'm going to need Kulava's name here. All right, it is looking like Kulava is fish. And fish! That raised $276. Thank you all so much. Oh, let's go. We got the fish in. Okay, thank you all so much for donating towards fish. It's, uh, it's really cool that it actually ended up being the name that was chosen as well. <laughs> it's going to make Juan so happy. <laughs> it is. Juan, Juan loves aquatic species, right? <laughs> He sure does. All right. Is it fish in all caps or is it is it just like fish? It's just fish with a capital F. Okay. Here we go. Here he comes. Ah. <laughs> cool. All right. And now we got to go name our Espeon. Uh, I right. could probably stall for like 20 more seconds technically. Chat. Any last minute Bingus, come on, chat. Get your get those Bingus, Bingus donations in. Please. <laughs> Bingus. Let me do one last refresh really quick. I'm going to make sure that this refresh goes super slow. Let's see. It looks like the winner, unfortunately, is Leafeon. <laughs> oh, <Man>. no. <laughs> No fingers. I mean, it is a classic. There's no justice in this world. I, the there is some justice. Because we did raise over a thousand dollars with that, that incentive oh alone. <laughs> Leafeon raised five hundred and twenty-six dollars for Malala Fun. And remember, even if your your choice didn't win, it's alright. It's all going to Malala Fun. Thank you all for your generous donations. Um, 
I will say. Uh, I do still hate Leafeon so much, but... I will give the Leafeon Enjoyers this win. Because they did raise a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, Leafeon, Leafeon <laughs> was 100% popular. worth. It's okay, I could I could go back. If I uh, if I have the time, I can always go back and rename something. <laughs> it's a big, it's like plus one. <laughs> Keep the Bingus alive. You cannot name Puzzle, it's a traded mod. You can oh. name um, Metatite. Meta mm, it's a Shadow Pokemon. Well, huh? I can name Umbreon. You could name Umbreon. You can, yeah. Pure, what about Potobot? Purify Metatite percent. You could also do that. <laughs> No, but, uh, yeah, you can definitely name Embryon, but that's unfortunately the only one. Unfortunately, the Puzzle counts as a traded mod for some reason, so you're actually not able to nickname it. I learned this when I tried to set this game up for a marathon once. That was fun. Wait, is that, it's, it's a Frozen Flygon reference. Oh, it oh we're going to see a lot of those. Flygon. There'll be quite a few, and they're actually really, really, really terrifying. Uh, every yes. single stage, except the middle one. Um, I guess that makes it two. So every single one might have been a <laughs> bit of Yeah, I don't know why, working, but... but they gave Trapinch 130 base attack. Trapinch is hilarious. It's just, it's, I mean, to be fair, Trapinch is just one big giant clamp. I want you guys to know that that 130 base attack is comparable to Espeon's special attack, which is also 130. Look how big his clamp is! It's a silly little guy. I love... A fun fact about Trapinch is that we all love him. Everyone loves Trapinch. Who doesn't love Trapinch? I mean, True. as a Kahlo speedrunner, I would have my reservations, but it's also Trapinch, and I love Trapinch. It's my favorite in that line. Everyone loves Trapinch. He is a terrific athlete. But yeah, so that was that normal there. That's a range, um, and uh, with that Twisted Spoon, it, I believe it's not a range, so... That's just one of many benefits of Twisted Spoon. Unfortunately, we didn't get it. Let's see what this Trapinch does. Bite, RJ Bite. That's a special move in this generation, so not threatening at all. The only thing we would be scared of would have been a flinch, but since Trapinch is slow, that's not really an issue at all. And uh, Swift just hit the Typhlosion into Blaze herself, uh, which is one of the ways we do manipulate Blaze in this area. It is very, very common to do. You're pretty much always hitting yourself into Blaze unless you've got perfect charcoal set up. And it's a little bit risky. And there are certain people in the community, me, uh, who crit themselves a lot on this fight. So, you know, always a good time, always a great time. And uh, luckily, not a crit there. So, good stuff. Uh, uh, this ball toys a range. Pardon? We probably did a couple more donations, yeah? Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. All right. I'd just love to shout out some of those donations that put Leafeon <laughs> over. Um, we got a $50 donation from Fierce Wolf. It says, I love rotten lettuce. Thanks for the great sales pitch, May. Man. <laughs> <laughs> we got a ten dollar donation from um, Ariadne. It says, "Look, Leafeon just kind of has a big forehead." Minkus Wingus. <laughs> we have a donation from Leafeon themselves. It's a. It's for twenty five dollars. It says, "See you soon." Less than three. Ah, oh, the confidence. <laughs> And we have another donation from Leafeon Forever. It's $125. It says, this is out of spite. <laughs> <laughs> it's, where we, it's where we brought out every single Leafeon fan. I know, that's what I'm saying. It's like, all I have to do, all I have to, like, that's apparently the, my new tactic of ever on couches in the future. It's just insult and evolution every time, and all of their fans will show up. We also have a... $25 donation from Library Nerd. It says, Bada Bingus. <laughs> I know I'm a little upset that Bingus didn't make it, but thank you everyone who donated to make that happen. We got Leafeon, and I'm happy for it. Absolutely. I'm not. It's all for charity oh. at, at the end of the day. 
I mean, I have, I'm happy for that, but I'm not happy for Leafeon. Okay? <laughs> Are you very Speaking of and charity, I know we have the PowerPoint we want to get chat, and we have, more importantly, the Pokemon Coliseum bonus metro metronome run. And right now, that's a little over halfway there. We still have some time in the run to get there, but I'd like to get started on that. Uh, $3,000 is a lot, and you know what could get us there? Some more Pokemon Dex donations. Absolutely. I'll tell you what, if we meet the metronome incentive, I will name the Umbreon Bingus. Because I have to go back to Agate later. That is a great redemption, honestly. Chat, <laughs> Chat you get a power point, you get Bingus, and you get a bonus run. Go on, get Donnie. So There's no reason not to. Clearly, no. That's some great, great value, and that's a great idea, honestly. So if you want Umbreon to be named Fingus, and you also want to see the very, very cool I Promise bonus run, then get those donations in now. So this is one of the not-so-scary fights of Mad Battle. Um, some of the fights are pretty scary, but they might not actually be as scary as you'd expect using a fiery type, and it might not be as slow as you expect using a fiery type. This area was actually the primary reason why Crocona, or for Alligator, was actually believed to be faster for so long, just because it has Surf, which pretty much just one-shots all of these ground and mixed ground types, especially like the Nubbles, who are fire ground, and the Geodudes, who are rock ground, who are quad weak to water. But in the end, it was decided that actually Kulava doesn't use, or Teflotion doesn't lose that much time in this area. And it saves so much time later on in the game that it's very much worth using. And right now, it's just very, very clear that it is actually the fastest route. Although, again, it's historically Croc was the most ran, and it's still actually run quite a fair bit in Japan, Japan in the Japanese community. Uh, they really, really like the Croc route, uh, which is super cool. So, it, it'll be yeah. Croc versus, uh, Croc versus, versus Kalava race is, is, would be fun. I had that happen, Zeke has, I've raced this game multiple times with, uh, another runner called Zeke, and, uh, he has run Croc multiple times in these races, and it's very funny every time, because we realize that he has a Croc, and we're all like, wait, you're using Croc, why? Alright, so we have to have a question. Yes. If chat had named uh, Espeon Kolava and Kolava Espeon, would you be able to play the game still? Yes. Alright, it wouldn't just destroy you? No. Okay. I can tell you that it would have destroyed me. I'm... Okay. I use the, I use the names quite a lot because I barely look at the game when I'm running this. I mostly look at the spreadsheet. So if it was me running, I would have just been <laughs> super destroyed if the names were mixed. Especially because their order actually changes once. Sorry, I got bright crit on uh, Hound Hour and uh, Espeon lives on 6 HP. That is so close. Oh my god, <laughs> my heart, my heart. We're, we're getting close to the next boss, right? Yes, we are. Uh, the next boss is Dakeem. After you do 10 fights on here, uh, okay. you go fight well, him. Okay, well, close, quote unquote. Well, we have a we have a strat or we have a fight coming up that I actually need to kind of look at. So I popped out a blaze because I'm too high HP. Um, so what I'm going to be trying to do is getting back into blaze on this fight. Hopefully there's Lily bleed because then I could take some sandstorm damage. Uh, that is Lily bleed, so I will go for the two sandstorm strat, which is slow, but I will be put back into blaze, which is what I want. Yep, yeah, there's the quite a no, go ahead. No, I was excited about your pinch. Continue. Oh, yeah, no, absolutely. So this fight has a couple of strats that you can do, and uh, one that's not in the notes currently, I believe. That's also pretty good. But yeah, so ideally on this fight, you can get either Lily Bleed or Barboach Lead, and you want to get Barboach Lead, because Barboach Lead is nice, and skip Sandstorm, and it's just less of a hassle than the Lily Bleed, because there's especially one strat with the Lily where you heal Typhlosion and do an HP manip where they hit Typhlosion and hits back into place, which is a pretty annoying strat to set up, especially if you're low on potions, because a lot of the time you'll need a super potion for it. 
And if you don't have that and you don't know the alternative strats, it's quite unfortunate. So that's why this is actually a fight that has like a surprising amount of branches, even for such a quote unquote like easy fight. So messed it up. And it crit SP on. Wow. So, I messed yeah. it up. That, that's fine. This is not ideal, but as long as SP doesn't die here, we're, we're still good. Again, just a little bit slow and losing out on some type of illusion experience, which... Do you know how that's gonna line up now for the... Nope. We're just gonna yeah. hope it's fine. Yeah, in theory you could save before the fight by going all the way back down if you want to. If you're not sure about uh, how the experience is gonna line up, because I'm, it's a I'm just bit gonna to I'm gonna revive an equipped EXP share early. I don't really wanna deal with uh not fun things. Did we use did we explain the experience why we use the experience share? I don't So the experience share forget. is useful because um it lets Espeon gets 75% of the XP instead of 50%. Because uh, we're going to equip it to Espeon. Yeah, that makes the... Like, pretty much this, this game is a super, super strict experience you're at. And if Espeon loses any XP after you equip the experience share, you're going to have to do some super awkward strats. And sometimes that's not even enough. And those strats lose, again, a lot of time and are super awkward, so you really, really want to avoid that. Which makes, again, Espeon just dying, which, you know, can happen, because you do get hit quite a lot and there's a chance you get crit. But Espeon dying is just really, really, really bad at the point after you've equipped the share. If it happens before the share, you can usually adjust by equipping the share earlier than you're supposed to. But, if, yeah, losing the experience after is just detrimental and can lead I to... Think... Should I just equip it after this fight, or should I equip it the fight after the fight? What's next? Um, I would just equip it uh, at one, one fight early. Okay. That's what the notes say. But I'm just making sure. So I'm having yeah. to consult Ava here, because, uh, again, sometimes stuff happens in Kahlo, it doesn't always go as planned, and you have to kind of go on the fly, and I need a second opinion sometimes of what I should be doing. Yeah, this game is all just how well are you able to roll with the punches and adjust. Yeah, that's nice. why having someone who's run the game is super handy, because uh, they they can backseat you, and it's wonderful. And I'm also here. Heck yeah. Actually, yeah. Hmm. No, so, like, this is one of the few runs, or maybe, maybe it's not one of the few runs, but this is, like, one of those kind of runs where, especially on stream, backseating, 100% encouraged. Love getting backseated when running this game. It's lovely. It is unironically really good because it's just there's so much that goes on and sometimes it just helps to have someone who's also run this game just whisper in your ear tell you yeah that's that's uh that's that's the, that's the good strat that's the good strat you should do that one or you should do that strat yeah so considering this game is basically an advanced spreadsheet with graphics it's um it becomes a lot of numbers at some point so not just not tiring and having someone who is just able to pay attention for you and make sure that everything you're doing is correct it just really makes it a lot easier and i i believe like it's almost like every time someone runs this game like there's some amount of backseating it's uh it's definitely definitely encouraged so um yeah this uh, this fight is easy Nothing, not much that can go wrong here. And mm, I got confused. Well, there is I much love... that can go wrong here. <laughs> Clearly. I love confusion. It's, it's my favorite status. It's so fun. Yeah. Okay, well, fun. I hit myself in the blaze, so that's fine. Yeah. I, optimal. Uh, yeah. What I am going to do is I'm just going to full heal tie. Not optimal. We've already had a bunch of random things happen. 
this cadaver here doesn't die to return from Espeon, so we need, but it does die to place Oops. flame wheel here. So we need to just place it. It doesn't, wheel. it didn't. Oh. <laughs> uh, what in the world is going on? What was the range on that? Um, it was a 63% uh, range. So usually you're not 37, level 37 here. Um, oh yeah, that, that will do it. Usually you're level 38, which uh, <laughs> makes that a lot better, but um, is it even a range at this level? <laughs> it's not a range if you're 38. Yeah, okay, So, but it's a bad range at 37, so yeah, that's that's one of the issues of leasing out, but it was fine because future sight takes two Oh, turns. I forgot to equip XP share. Oh, that's not good. You're good. It's fine. Whatever. I mean, you know what is good? Yeah. Donation. I am always saying this. <laughs> I am also always saying that. What a hot take in 2023. Donations are good. We are so close to $65,000 raised from Mobile Fund, everybody. We are sitting at $6,410. Wait, $64,910. We are just $90 away from that new 65000 And we are inching ever closer to the bonus metronome run. We are sitting at $3,500 raised. We just need to read, um, raise $6,000. And we're getting there. Um, I see some donations coming in. Uh, we have a $20, $25 donation. It says $25 to name Umbreon Leafeon from... Rama Lamba. That's not how it works. <laughs> you can't just make up incentives, Chef. That's not how it works. <laughs> but uh, the Leafeon uh, Bingus uh, fight continues. We have a Bingus redemption arc from Grouch Barks. Uh, they donate $25. Remember, if you want that PowerPoint, you have to meet that incentive. And how how far how far are we on that? Are we getting there? We're we're getting there. Um, right now we're sitting at Oops. three thousand eight hundred twenty-six dollars raised out of the six thousand. So we need uh, twenty-two hundred, two thousand two hundred, thereabouts. Yeah. All right. And uh, Swift, how how far are we into the run? We are. Well, I mean, we're about almost halfway over, over halfway, I guess. I, if I'm estimating it, so that means we gotta we, we gotta we gotta get those donations in. We gotta keep that pace hot. We do. Yeah, absolutely. I like to think about finishing the team as, as about the halfway point, uh, give or take. So yeah, we're pretty much at the halfway point that we're on now. So you still got plenty of time to get those donations in for them. Turn and also the Umbreon Bingus nickname. So oh. it's a double boon right there. Sorry, I had to read my notes because I'm not in fight range. So yeah, now we're it's usually awkward when here. that happens. There are a couple of things you've got to be pay attention to going into this fight. First, Cyclosion has to not be in sustained attack range from a Duskull, and it usually is in fight range, but it's not, and Espeon is, uh, also has to be out of the bite range so that it doesn't die to bite from Handar. And this is going to change how the fight works because this Handar will uh, torment you uh, depending on which one, or depending on these ranges. So you're going to have to see a little bit of a different fight than what we usually get because Typhlosion isn't in that bite range, which is not the normal outcome. So you're going to get to see these strats on full display, which is, you know, always fun. This coughing, though, very, very easy to take down. Not an issue. Not an issue at all. But Mudkip could never. Mudkip could never. True. Horus runners, they they know the pain in of shambles. coughing. Horus runners I mean, in not, shambles. I mean, I no OR runners know the pain of coughing. We like we don't fight oh. any in Alpha Sapphire. Right? Yeah. See, you should run Alpha Sapphire. It's it's better. That's what. She tells only truths. Ah, absolutely. Absolutely nothing but the truth. Totally. 
Absolutely. My honest opinion is that you should run Alpha Sapphire as well, as well as my dishonest opinion. Yes, but when are we racing, uh, when are we racing Hollow no. versus XY? Oh. I'm not playing XY. No, you can play Hollow. Okay, cool. Uh, They're equally I reliable, I think. <laughs> True. I think, I think you guys have the, the worst stick with Palucha. It's so bad. Also, this fight is normally quite scary, but luckily this should be guaranteed with my special attack IV, since I know exactly what it is. Um, these Geodudes have self-destruct, and if you miss the range, because it can be a range, uh, they go boom, and you die. <laughs> there is a safety strat you can do that involves using Plusle, which I've actually used before, because I popped out a blaze here. Um, you use, like, Growl, it's really funny, because you got speed the Geodudes, even though you're level 12. The, the peak performance strat, however, is the Sparkle Classic of smoke screening the Geodude, so that it misses <laughs> self-destruct. <laughs> I don't think I've ever yeah. seen him do that. <laughs> Wait, have you not seen? Have you not seen the no. clip? Oh my god, it's a classic. Not... <laughs> yeah, Sparkle, like it was like when he was learning the run, uh, there was a time where he just, I, I don't remember why. I think oh yeah, Typhlosion wasn't in place, so he smoke screened one of the two units and it missed time. <laughs> that is, that is like a clip of all time. That, that is like the, that is so previous level that is next level. It was just, yeah, that was just one of the, my favorite, like... You buffer underflowed into the best strategy of all time. Absolutely, it's like, all right. such a moment. Is it Dakeem time? It, it is Dakeem time. time. So I mean, this is going to require a lot of explanation from uh, our knowledgeable commentator, which is to say, uh, Ava, please explain. It's you. Will I be quiet? No, God. Okay, all right. I'm gonna. <laughs> okay. you know, I have the PowerPoint. It's fine. I'm prepared for this. Chat's not prepared because okay. they don't have the PowerPoint yet, but I'm prepared. All right. Uh, Dakeem can be scary because of Entei. Uh, he's an Entei? Yeah. Uh, so Entei can outspeed Espeon, and that's, uh, that's bad, and is otherwise fine. And also, it says Swift has learned that Marsh Tomp Leave is not great. Hopefully, not that. I did not I get it. What? I didn't get Marsh Tomp Leave. Okay, good. Um, I feel like the notes had a lot more ch uh, charts here, um, including a page. The notes for this fight are like literally two pages long. They're over two pages long. They're two and a half pages long, and then. The PowerPoint's just like, eh, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, so, there are a lot of weird scenarios that can happen here. First of all, uh, fire, the flame will is sometimes arranged on this Matang. If you don't get that range, there's a there's a branch for that. And if you <laughs> don't get the range and you're dead to another earthquake, there's a branch for that. As you can see, like this is just like because of the stats, all of these branches just play out so differently and we have to wrap those in. That's why this is a two and a half page long fight. Uh, but usually it goes fine. Usually you get the lead we got here, which is Golem Matang. Sometimes you get Camera from Matang, but it's the same as Golem. So luckily we avoided the Marsh Jump lead. It's the more awkward of the two, but it's still no, usually much not missed today. Much of never misses unless you're Swift. I haven't, I've had it miss. Yeah. It's it's cheating. I I I I, 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 I don't think I've ever seen much of miss. And I've ran this game. I've had it miss multiple times. <laughs> it's really funny. I, I think me and Z Although usually like, never if it misses uh, and Tay outspeeds me and kills me. So hopefully that does not happen because Ante scary, very scary. It's full fire blast. There's there's Sante. It's a uh, it's a uh, it's Shadow Pokemon. Radical. Did she say, "Oh, that's Shadow Pokemon"? Did I think I'm that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I missed that. My bad. <laughs> I like. I just like that being like. You see a legendary Pokemon and you're just like, "Yo, that's a Shadow Pokemon." Like missing the forest for the trees kind of thing. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah no, I totally that get that. That speed's high, which is honestly funny. same. 
so fire blast here. Luckily didn't crit. We would have been dead to crit. <laughs> so awful. And no burn either. Burn can actually lead to some funny menuing issues because we usually full heal Espeon, but if you full heal while the burn uh, doing the special glitch, that's obviously not going to work. So well, Pete, is there something else you could use instead? Uh, yeah, revive. Gotcha. It's uh, usually right next to it, so it's pretty fast. But uh, I've done that at a marathon, so you know, I'm never doing that again. I learned from my mistakes. It's completely fine to adapt to. It's it's not the end of the world, but it's a little bit annoying. Just getting that and do like a couple of extra menu, a couple of extra menus. So according to the PowerPoint, we have now entered, I believe, the donation zone. Is that right? Yeah, there's. It's literally like five minutes of walking. Ten or yeah, for like five ten minutes of walking. I would assume Ava. Yeah, I, I love do. donations. <laughs> there's it's just there's nothing going there's on. Nothing. It's it's more than that, right? It's uh, it's like ten minutes, nine minutes, nine minutes. Yeah. I think of just like it's, it's pure walking, pure story, and the story like the story segments that become here aren't even like they're they're super drawn out when they don't really need to be drawn out. So if you have some donations this is just a perfect time to just spread them out over this segment because it's uh, it's a bit of a slog when you're running all right uh yeah. just go ahead and stop me whenever i would like to first remind everybody we are benefiting malala fun this is frost fatales 2020 that's too many 20s this is frost fatales 2023 uh, benefiting Malala Fun. Malala Fun is working for a world where every girl can learn and lead. With more than 130 million girls out of school today, Malala Fun partners with educational advocates and activists who are breaking down barriers that hold girls back. So remember, every donation you give goes straight to Malala Fun. And I know we've been saying, give us some uh, Pokedex donations so we can push that metronome incentive higher. Um, and we have a few. We have a $59 donation from In Inaris. Uh, they say 59 for our canine. Less than three. And congrats to Rotting Lettuce. Again, referencing our Leafeon. <laughs> uh, Espeon. Or... We also have a $20 donation saying, I'm not a huge fan of Nuzleaf, but I wanted to give it a shout out. Imagine one of the most popular video game challenges ever being named after you. And no one donating in your honor. Poor Nuzleaf. And that's a $20 donation from Quill. Ah, we have a $100 donation from Jordan97. It says, Hi May, thank you for reminding me about the Mantine feud. As a reward, please enjoy this donation towards naming Espeon the best evolution. Leafeon, good luck for the rest of your run. Swift and Eva, keep being cool. Thanks, Jordan. I can't believe Jordan did this. I How can't. Can betray us. This is the least surprising thing ever. <laughs> we also have some people are donating dimes. If you have a favorite Pokemon in the several hundreds, maybe that would work better for you. They, it's a $30 and 30 cent donation. It says 300 and three dimes for the biddiest Pokemon Mawil. Mawil says trans bites are human bites from Xan. Oh. True. And we also have $100 from Pyro Hero Matt. It says Pokemon Dex donations? Can I get 100 Bulbasaurs, please? Going to start a Poke Garden. Keep them coming. Yeah, they keep going. Keep them coming. <laughs> All right. We have a $25 donation from Pittman Lion House, uh, 08071. It says, chat use donation. It was super effective. Keep up the great run, less than three. And please excuse me, this is a bit of a long one and my palm reading is a little out of uh, practice, but I will try. This is a $144 donation from an Onyx Mouse. It says, I completely forgot about Frost Fatales this week, but I'm so glad I got here in time to see a Pokemon run so I could get in my Pokemon or my Pokedex donation. Unfortunately, I don't have time to rewrite another poem, so hopefully you don't mind if I reuse the one I wrote a couple years back. It's a true story, an iambic pentameter. When I was but a lad in middle school and Pokemon was all the brand new rage, 
I happened upon a bird so super cool, its present took the light of center stage. Down in the depths of Seafoam was our bout, and Articuno's health was all but spent. But time and time again, the birds broke out. And soon my Pokeballs were all but spent, so in my quest to gotta catch them all, I had to use my only Master Ball. That was like, that that was like Shakespearean. Was, yeah, Shakespeare wrote an iambic I know, and like it just like, it, 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 it yeah. <laughs> I was just like, yeah, I, I could see this being an on-stage, like, a soliloquy. Good work. That was incredible. Oh, honestly. <laughs> Wow, I'm, I'm stunned. I'm, I'm speechless. That was amazing. I love that so much. Do we have time for me to shout out yep. one of our partners? Okay, oh, great. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> we have a $10 donation from Mo Komochi USA. It says, from the Japanese Restream. And for those of you who don't know, oh. Frosty Tiles has a Japanese Restream this year. We would like to thank Japanese Restream for providing an alternate language broadcast of Fast Fatales 2023. Japanese Restream is a community where people can enjoy various speedrun events held abroad in Japanese. They are broadcasting the event at twitch.tv slash Japanese underscore Restream on a delay. Check out the schedule by doing exclamation point Restream in the chat. We would love for the viewers to join their stream and support the event. Chad, if you want your donation read, now I should, like that's a great time to get it in. Keep them coming. Yeah, we yeah. still got plenty of time here. Oh, well, great. Let me go ahead and update everybody on the metronome incentive. We are get edging closer to getting that PowerPoint and getting Bingus. We are sitting <laughs> at $3,898 out of $6,000 raised. So we're getting really close, everybody. I know we can get there. And hey, maybe if we if we reach it soon, everybody can follow along with the PowerPoint. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I do need to edit something in the PowerPoint. Uh oh. Oh. Uh, <laughs> it's, you, you probably know if you check the first page. <laughs> yeah. It says a naughty word. Oh no. It does say a naughty word. <laughs> we have a five dollar donation from Pacific. It says five dollars towards changing Corvinay's nickname to Bingus. Okay. Um, well, I don't, let's not do that, but, um, if you all hit 70k, you can call me Bingus for the rest of the event. That's fine. I mean, <laughs> she said it, chat. I will, my life in the, the studio for the rest of the week will be absolute misery, but if you make it happen, then that's what it is. We also, also I'm doing, oh, oh sorry, go ahead. go ahead. No, go ahead. Um, we're doing some shopping here. We're buying a few TMs, if I can remember which ones they are. <laughs> so these TMs, for fun fact, on PAL version, uh, these TMs are in a different order. They're actually in the order of the number. They're like, they're in numerical order on PAL. Uh, whereas they're not in numerical order, I believe, on... Uh, yeah, they're not in numerical order on the uh, NDSC version, which you saw there, because TM10 Hidden Power was last in the item menu. So it's... Um, it doesn't actually make a difference, I believe, but it's just like a fun little quirky difference between the two versions. Yeah, so this is a big teaching menu that I'm doing here. We're having to teach Protect to both of our Pokémon, and if you've played VGC in any form, uh, you'll understand why Protect is so good. And in fact, this game taught me how to like play VGC, which is funny, like doing the speedrun of it. Uh, but we're teaching it to both our Typhlosion and Espeon. It'll come in great handy. We're also going to be teaching Fire Blast to our Typhlosion, which is... Oh, you know, it's an 85% accurate fire move with like 120 base power. Or 110, I think, in this gen. I forget. It's, uh, it's one of the moves of all time, for sure. <laughs> we're going to be using it a lot. And here... Yeah. Here I'm actually going to save, so I'm... Usually you would use the right disc to go to Venus, but because Venus is one of the scariest fights in this game, it is one of the biggest run killers. Uh, I'm saving before her because if I get uh, if, I, if if something happens and it's bad, uh, it's bad. Yeah, so you saw us use uh, or teach Fire Blast there, and Fire Blast is going to be used immediately on this first fight coming up here against Venus. And it's part of the, or pr the primary reason why the fight is scary. If we didn't need to use Fire Blast on the fight, if Flame Bull was enough to kill things, it wouldn't really be an issue, but it's not. 
And that is why Swift is saving here, because Fire Blast, very scary. But uh, Fire Blast is, any... is a hilarious move that we all love. Everyone loves oh, it. Oh, I really don't. Okay, so I don't want, I accidentally had Rui like, get caught on stairs. Also, VGC stands for Video Game Competition. It is the in-game stuff that Pokemon like officially uses. They use double formats and everything. Yeah, so Pokemon officially uses the two by uh, a four, uh, po a, a four Pokemon team doubles uh, format. And this game, we have a four Pokemon team, and we're doing doubles. So this is just VGC. Clearly, yeah, it's just. Uh... Except we only use two Pokemon. No, because we have four. Uh, we have five. Oh, right, we have SB or Umbi. Yeah, we do. Never mind, I lied. How did you forget Umbi? It's gonna be our Vingus if it, if, the, the, if you know, when the incentive gets met. Because the incentive's gonna get met. Uh, this is a good combo. I could go for the fast YOLO. So, quick fun fact about the rare candy box that Swift opened there. Uh, you, in the Japanese version of the game, you can open that through the door, and it's fast. These games have like silly little differences like that, <laughs> that just keep the pop off. But I believe that those are the ones I've mentioned right now are the two, I guess, big ones, although they're not really big because it's very low impact, but still. Also, yeah, this is a good lead. Did you go for the fast strat? Uh, I am going for the faster strike, but I'm doing a safety turn, so maybe it's yeah. not as fast. That yeah, should be, should be okay. good. So this fight um, suddenly sees a huge, huge level spike, which means pretty much all the Pokemon we're facing right now are super dangerous. Like, as you can see, the Stealth Cat here is level 45, and our Espeon's not even close to level 45. So it will be doing a lot of damage, and as you also can see, it attracts, which is everyone's favorite, you know, status condition in Pokemon. Especially since oh, we missed the first one! And yeah, we've missed the first Fire Blast, so now you'll get to see some, hopefully... This is mm, not adaptation. ideal because I'm still... I, no, wait, I'm not attracted anymore. Wait, no, this is okay. Yeah, so Elka actually takes itself down wait, here, no, which it's is not. useful for us, but... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh yeah, now uh, we get Stun Sport here. Um, Stun Sport, not good. It does synchronize, so maybe we can get a little bit lucky. Uh, but our Typhlosion is not high enough defense to actually live an Earthquake from the Steelix, oh. which it can be. Um, you need pretty much max defense and plus <laughs> defense nature, but like... Oh yeah, Espeon has synchronized. Does it not synchronize the natures then? Uh, no. Does it add later? Yeah, that's yeah. later. Huh. So luckily, at plus one, that's the last dice to Flame Wheel. Um, but we are giving this Wild Bloom a turn now, which is uh, well a lot less scary than giving the Steelix a turn because considering that Wild Bloom is at full health, it will Earthquake because Earthquake doesn't uh, KO the Wild Bloom. So we want to avoid that, but we do get a track here, which is just, you know, fun. And this Banat here also just needs to <laughs> needs to die because this Banat will Oko as we with Shadow Ball. This is, this is one of the weirdest itself, fights I've ever done. <laughs> this actually turned out really well considering how this all happened, but usually Banat is the scariest of these Pokemon um, because it kills Espeon in one hit, whereas the others don't. But uh, luckily we were able to break through the attract and KO the Banat. And also I had the Fire Blast here. Super, super nice. Wild Bloom has a great KO animation, by the way. It's, it's beautiful. It's funny. It's, uh... It's... I forgot what his name is. Uh, uh... Walking Wake! Walking Wake! Walking Wake! It's Walking Wake! Oh, yeah. It, it, true. Yeah. So, yeah, that's, uh... This weekend... I mean, Walking Wake is not really a threat at all here. Um, it can also, serve. I want to point out, how is Venus's uh, moon thing floating? Magic. It's floating. Um, <laughs> ma yeah, um, it's like a... There's like a, a... No, yeah, it's just magic. Honestly, I got nothing. It's magic. Exactly. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to be heading through like a staircase section area. There's a little bit of walking, a little bit of cutscening. So if there are any quick donations, this is an okay time. 
Oh yeah, I really like really quick like to update everybody on that incentive. We have passed four thousand dollars raised for it, which is We're super exciting. We are getting so close. Uh, I would like to remind everybody if you are going to donate, um, go ahead and when you donate, before you click the button to go towards the next page, right above that there's an incentive section. Uh, assign your donation completely to the incentive. There is nothing else open right now, and so all of your donation assigned to that would really help move us forward. Um, I would also like to shout out uh, BD Jeffy P uh, for their $250 donation with no comment. Thank you so much for that generous uh, donation. Um, we have time. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, I think we have probably time for one. And if you want to just remind everyone what everything that is on, everything at stake. Uh, <laughs> okay, correct me if I miss anything. I believe we get to name Ambreon Bingus. We get a PowerPoint. And I believe we're, we're calling Corvume Bingus for the rest of the week. Correct? No, no, that last one's at 70k. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, that's at 70k. Well, if we meet the incentive, we will be just about $3,000 short. So uh, go ahead and get donating if you want to see that happen. Y'all, if we do actually hit 70k by the end of this run, the prize, the prize segment title name cards will just say Bingus for me the whole time. It's going to be <laughs> a tragedy. Uh, well, not from a lot of fun. It'll be really good from a lot of fun, but it'll be tragedy for me. I was just gonna say, not a tragedy from a lot of fun, but uh, maybe more of a personal tragedy. So I'm gonna have to rare candy here. I yeah, think. this is the outcome that has happened due to the lost experience that we had on my battle earlier which means we'll have to rare candy here. Usually we rare candy quite a bit later, which just about gets us the psychic move, which, I mean, like the move psychic. And it's the strongest move that's been learned, and it's super, super useful, and at that point it's what we use for the most part throughout the run. And uh, it's, uh, it's very, very tight. I think you level up by less than 100 experience, uh, which means that since we lost out on more than that, obviously, we're going to have to do these rare candies earlier to make a fight coming up a little bit later not as awkward. And it also makes a lot of these staircase fights just a lot simpler. That is the one benefit of rare candying this early. So it's not super detrimental, but it does lose Oops. a little bit of time. It's hit us a little bit slow. But not the end of the world as we're heading into the next fight over here. Everyone kind of... These staircase fights are not great. <laughs> Some of them are No, very, but at least we annoying. have a level 44. <laughs> also, so... we get to see Roselia's death animation. <laughs> I was talking about. It's so yeah. funny. Look at this sass. Oops. Beautiful. I have menu hard. Many is hard, to be fair. Also, this Curlia usually is a range for Espeon. Um, it's not a range, it's level 44. Uh, so, a neat little time save there. I mean, this is probably, like, the nicest of the fights here. Like, I would say this is nicer than the Gligar fight. So, it's not a huge issue here. There's one Pokemon coming up last in this fight. It can deal a little bit of damage, but it's not like it'll never kill you unless it crits, which it will. It won't do. So that's not an issue. I don't know. But yeah, this this fight is pretty pretty much straightforward. Chaser Leax. Also, I believe like in the Japanese version of the game, because uh, I did a little bit of digging on this during my 100% stream, I think, and. Uh, the Chaser name, I believe, has been kept in Japanese, so it's like Chaser or, or something like that. Um, and I don't really think we figured out what it is, because I'm not sure it necessarily meant anything, but I do believe they're meant to be sort of like bikers or something like that. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah, if people don't know, Ava did a 100% run of How long did that take? Uh, 19 hours. Oh, my goodness. It was a it was a long run in one sitting. 
that uh, that was pretty exhausting at the end of it. But uh, we got to have really, fun. yeah, shocker, I know. Um, <laughs> and yeah. So we just got some battles here, right? Yep, pretty much. So uh, yeah, any. we got one, we got like two more, I think. Yeah. So. But yeah, usually they're normally scary, but because I'm level 44, there's not really that much to talk about other than like, oh yeah, these are usually ranges. This octillery sucks. Well, it doesn't suck anymore. Sounds like I, I can think of one thing we can talk about. Is that Is it donations? Donations? Heck yeah. Yeah, I love donations. All right. Everybody is pushing for that metronome, metronome run incentive, which is great. And we've got some more Pokemon Dex donations coming in for that. We have a $35 donation saying, Donating 35 for the best Pokemon, Melotic. Number three, or 350, spent way too much of my childhood fishing and plant, planting berries for them. Thank you for everyone at Frost Fatales for putting on this amazing event for such a great cause. That is from June. Thank you, June. We have a $25 donation from Karga. It says, while not basing my amount on my favorite Pokemon, Hisuian Typhlosion is not enough for the prizes I want, and I can't afford Tyranitar. Here's my donation with my favorite Pokemon. Any chance for Korame Pokerat? Well, uh... I mean, I could. We can put that at the 70,000 mark as well. I'm already giving a lot. <laughs> Do you want to put that at the 80,000 mark? Sure. If chat makes it to 80,000, I will do the entirety, entirety of the perfect poker trap. <laughs> wow, chat, you heard it from Corva, May. You better get donating. <laughs> we also have a Pokemon donation, uh, a Pokemon Dex donation. It is $37. It says Pokemon donation for my favorite, Vulpix from Minty Kitty. Stop me when uh, we get to something other than the battles, all right? Uh, we also have a $6.30 donation. It says, donating for my favorite Pokemon, Durant's Pokemon, Pokedex number, Ant less than three, from Eva. Thank you all so much for those wonderful donations. And if you're just tuning in, this is Frost Fatales 2023, benefiting Malala Fun. If you want to know more, you can go to Malala Fun's website to learn all about the charity. We got a bunch of anonymous donations. We have a $25 anonymous donation. Thank you, anonymous. And we have a $7 anonymous donation. Thank you all so much for the generous donations. And don't forget to assign your donation to the incentive. Forgetting we're over halfway through the run. So we're getting close. We still have about $1,900, so $1,900. Um, until we meet that, and remember, you get the PowerPoint, and we get to name Umbreon Bingus. And you get, like, you know, the metronome run. Yeah, the metro obviously the metronome run is the most important one. Which, uh, if you're not aware, it's Swift's just gonna press metronome, and we're gonna laugh at Swift's bad luck, or Swift's really good luck, and it's gonna be very funny. I, I had some really funny luck, and Ava asked if I was recording. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was like... I have, <laughs> please so record. I've, whenever I do metronome doubles against people, I have, okay, I did metronome doubles against community members, and I got destroyed. And then I did metronome doubles against Echi, and demolished him. So I feel like it's it's so like the opponent dependent. I feel the vibes are everything with metronome. Uh -oh, Absolutely, world, I've never seen this lead before. So ideally, for for the metronome, you want to. Uh, Want memento <laughs> that you want a water move? A water move that. Sorry, I've never seen, never seen Viper Corsal. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, that happens. It's a, a bit of an annoying lead just because you gotta fire blast the Viper, but it's uh, it's not one of the worst ones. It's just, it's just another fire blast Funny. lead, which a lot of the ones here are. And uh, the good thing now is that. I believe Loudridge should just never be arranged as well with Psybeam, so... That's another perk of doing the early candies. So yeah, so Viper's gonna go down here. Luckily, the Fire Blast. 
And uh, the number one scary Pokemon here is probably the Sneasel. Uh, the latter, it's a bit annoying, but the Sneasel is pretty scary just because it does a lot of damage and it can screech. And if it, you give it two turns, that'll do a lot of damage as well. And uh, since Espeon doesn't KO it, we have to let Typhlosion take care of it, and Sneasel is faster than Typhlosion. So there's, there's a lot of things that can go on there that are not great, but hopefully just hit the Fire Blast and are able to move on, ideally. I like the notes. I did not hit it. Uh -oh. Now I have to protect and uh, hope I hit this next one. If I don't, uh, I'm gonna have to flame wheel it and then return it. I missed. Like I, okay, notes. I hit the second one, so that's there good. There we go. There we go. But the notes just say like have all the different leads, and it just says Sneasel slash Loudred colon bad in all caps. Yeah. yeah. That's a uh, average, average, just hollow moment right there. Honestly. Say, are, are leads always randomized? Not um, all of them, but the mid to late games are. Okay. Keep you on your toes, I guess? Yeah, it's kind of funny. Because yeah. they aren't randomized in the beginning of the game, but then like as you get to the farther in, they start randomizing the leads. Um, it's, and it becomes really... Yeah, it's honestly one of my favorite parts of the game. I like, unironically, it just makes every run... It's one of the many things about this game that just makes every run feel different, which yeah. is a nightmare in some in, in, uh, in some sense, but it's also just what makes it one of the coolest Pokemon speedruns, in my opinion, and why I love it so much. Oh yeah, no, I agree. Like, the, the randomized leads is honestly probably what makes this run so interesting. I accidentally clicked cancel, that's fine. It also makes... Some... Oh, it... go ahead. No, no, I was just going to say it also... Is pretty much the primary cause of the flow chart for a matter of the notes, but yeah, what are you saying? Yeah, that's fair. Um, we're at, we're in a walking section, yes. Yes, we are in another walking section. But hold on, we gotta we gotta look at the cool cutscene that I gotta point out to everyone, because uh, everyone, you know, likes this. It's 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 so cool. Oh my god. Yeah, incredible special oh, effects. I, I didn't know we were playing Shadow the Hedgehog. Shadow the Hedgehog. Out with the edge. Out with the edge. Yeah, that's that oh sums goodness, up this cutscene. It's exploding! Whoa! Right, yeah, no, you can continue. That's Radical. blast processing right there. <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, that's the funny explosion. That's really odd and awkward that they just added in for pretty much no reason. Like, and even the grunts there point points out how devastating and just silly that explosion is so you know the game is self-aware all right i think we can do some donations now of course we're getting a lot of love in for this run we've got a 25 dollars donation from prax it says glad to see coliseum in a marathon shout out to my favorite pokemon snorlax we also have another reference to Quay Lava's name, uh, which again, thank you everybody for donating for that bid war. Uh, Fish one out over Vice, um, and it's a fifty dollar donation from Eva Graham. Eva Graham. It says, "Our girl's name is Fish. Respect her chosen name." <laughs> Let's I go. Love it. I'm loving all these. The, all of these donations have just. There are so many great messages coming in. So keep them coming. I'm, I'm loving just listening to this. It's it's an experience. Real quick, we have a $25 donation from the Wagner family. It says, I can't believe it's already Wednesday of Frost Fatales Week. These events always fly by, but we're soaking up all the goodness and loving this Coliseum run, putting this towards the Metronome run because who doesn't want more Frost Fatales? Thank you to the staff and the runners for this awesome event. Thank you for donating. Thank you all for your generous donations. We have raised over $65,000 for Malala Fund, and that incentive just keeps getting closer and closer to our goal of $6,000. We are sitting at $4,239.50 out of the 6,000. We can make it, chat. We have two out. We have a little less than two hours in the run. Mm, we have about an hour and a half left in the run. Um, so go ahead, keep donating. 
we're on pace to make that if we keep going. And if you need some inspiration for the amount or something, uh, $25 does get you in to all of the prizes that are up right now, uh, with the exception of the big grand prize, the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, and Switch. Um, which, if you would like to receive that, you have to donate $125 uh, cumulative over the course of marathon, and that will get you into the drawing for that. So keep donating, donate maybe 25 here, maybe 25 tomorrow, you'll get there eventually. Absolutely. Uh, a couple more? Oh, of yeah. course. Thank you everybody for your generous donations, keeping, keeping me busy. We have a $15 donation from Mod Echo. It says, it's my birthday. Can't think of a better way to spend it than watching such an amazing event. Thank you all. Thank you for donating on your birthday. We have a $25 donation from Dragon Llama. It says, love me some Pokemon, no matter what they call them though. So thanks for the great run. Ah, we have somebody hyping up the metronome run. Um, Metronome often leads to very interesting results. Let's see what this game will give you. Uh, from Wave Warrior, and that's a $25 donation. I just, real quick, um, why do you think we need to see the Metronome run? What do you think uh, it has that this run doesn't? Oh, man. <laughs> it has a... Uh... It has a whole lot of moves. That's what it has. <laughs> it has moves you would never see otherwise in a run. It hopefully has momentum. All those animations. Oh, man, momentum would be hilarious. <laughs> the so the real funny one, the really funny one is if it just rolls Fire Blast. <laughs> my oh my and god. And then this is. That, that would be just like, I mean, yeah, that would just be like recapping the run we've just had. Yep. Got all the other. But we'll never know if we don't reach the incentive. Yeah. I went to the wrong thing because I pressed up. That was cool of me. Uh, thank you, the wave. <laughs> But yeah, no, so that battle you saw right there, those Voltorbs will usually use Spark, uh, but if uh, Spark does less than 20 damage, it will Sonic Boom. And uh, the target is usually usually the same, but sometimes that AI gets shifted. That AI getting shifted is not a big deal, uh, but it's just a little quirk about the fight to point out. And uh, we've now entered the lab proper. And you, we haven't seen them yet, but we'll be picking up these DNA samples that'll come in handy later. And there'll be little sparks uh, that you'll see lying on tables or on the floor, in and around the lab. And uh, if we want to get two of those, uh, there's a set amount of three, but we only need two optimally. You can get three of them, but it's almost never worth it, unless you get pretty unlucky with a guess coming up, but that's not for a good while, so... We'll talk more about that when that comes around. So, this fight right here is usually uh, where you would level up and get Psychic at the end of. But since we had the candy early, we're actually not going to get Psychic at the end of this fight. Uh, so we're going to have to power through the next fight without Psychic, where Psychic is usually very, very useful and good, but we're going to have to do a little bit of a backup strat that's slightly slower, but not a huge deal. There's also a quick strat that you can do on this fight, unfortunately, again, like, that's not going to line up with how everything's going right now. And also, I believe there might have been a bad lead for it. So, not going to be doing yeah, that. Yeah, there was. It was cast form. Yeah, so you can't do it with cast form, basically. But, um, but no, this, um, yeah, this fight is pretty crucial because it's usually where you see another fur it. Oh, yeah, another fur it. This one, the least that scary. Was tippy. <laughs> that was tippy again. Yeah, right, continue. Is, Almost every furry in this run is scary, except this one. This one's uh, this one's wholesome and nice. Yeah, like fruits should be, you know. I do like fruit, but fruit Kalo, mm. it's scary. It's scary. So fruit goes down here, and again, this is where we, we usually level up to 47, uh, or not. We would get 44 here, and then candy to 47, so we could get sidekick. But obviously, that's not gonna happen. So, we're gonna see, a, again, a little bit of a different fight coming up here, uh, a researcher. And hopefully we also can see a DNA sample on the table here. That uh, as we'll walk past, you'll see a little thing blinking. Uh, yep, there is one. Okay, cool. So there is a DNA sample here. So as we'll pick that up. Uh, 
uh, up on the way back. After I get the card key, yeah. After it's grabbing the card key. It's just for menuing here. optimization. There's also, if there's no sample there, there's also a funny little skip that you can do. Um, that is uh, pretty hard and a bit risky. Z Zeke would know all about that, but if you hold a specific angle on your controller, you can actually skip the line of sight of the trainer you saw that we walked under uh, by going above them still. But if you get that angle wrong, you have to fight an optional. And since animations are turned on in this game and we can't turn them off, it's extremely slow to find optionals. So this is quite a lot of time. And Love a good optional. Yeah, so really, really, really don't want to see that. But uh, obviously Swift's not going to go for that strat here, considering especially that there's a DNA sample, but I don't think she, think she would be going for it anyways. I certainly don't. Um, this match is pretty straightforward, so I think if you got a couple donations for us. Of course. This is a good time. Of course. Again, more excitement for the metronome run. We got a $50 donation from Anonymous. It says, metronome, effect boosts the power of a move used consecutively by the holder. Metronome boosts the power of a move by 10% in generation four or 20% from generation five onwards. For each previous consecutive turn, it had been used successfully up to a maximum increase of 100%. If the Pokemon is switched out, uses a different move or uses the move unsuccessfully, such as targeting into a protect or into an immunity, the bonus is reset to zero. Thank you so much for that wonderful information on Metronome and also the amazingly generous donation, Anonymous. Checks out. Protect the reason why Metronome is not that good of an item, unfortunately. It's, but it is uh, a good run. Yeah, it is a good run. I'm pretty sure a oh, couple wait. of Pokemon speedruns use Metronome, like E for round two in RS. Uh, yeah, E for, um, e for round two is in R. Uh, actually, I don't think it. I don't know, I think it does anymore. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe it does it. an Omega Ruby. I don't yeah, think we grab it anymore. Yeah, that makes um, sense. The BDSP Scyther Root uses it. Um, maybe I'm wrong. I don't, I don't remember off the top of my head. Hmm. I, haven't, I haven't run E4 round 2 in a while, but I don't think we grab it anymore. It's really slow. To, it's like pretty slow to grab. Yeah, it is really slow, but yeah, I don't know. It's been a while. I mean, I've never run E4 round 2. I just, I've just seen runs where it doesn't pick it up, but. It, it's probably got routed out, and my knowledge is just ancient and outdated. So, uh, but I, I think there is time for sharing a few messages or donations. Yeah, of course. We have a donation from Patrick. It's $15.60. It says 1560 for number 156, my favorite Pokemon, Quilava. So cool to see my favorite mod as the main in a speedrun, which I've never seen before. Good job re raising so much money, everyone. Thank you for that lovely donation. Um, and just stop me if you need to comment on something, of course. Um, we have a $22.60 er, $22 donation from Bardic Feedline. It says, making a donation in honor of my favorite happy ocean pancake, Mantine. Let's all go for that Bingus Redemption arc, everyone. And the bonus run, too. That's also good. And that's making reference to swift to promise to go name Ombreon Bingus if we reach the donation before the end of the... reach the incentive before the end of the run. Just a real quick update on that. We are sitting at $4,440 raised um, out of the $6,000 we need, so about $1,600 left. I know we can do it. We have, oh, about an hour left in the run, maybe? I know yeah, it's a lot of money, chat. That. But, you know, those Pokemon donations and the prizes. And I mean, of course, the PowerPoint. We all want to see the yeah. PowerPoint. <laughs> and I gave you stretch goals, so. Whether or not you all want that to happen or not, that is, uh, that is not in my hands. How often do you get to rename a prize team member, chat? <laughs> You could have Bingus for the rest of the week, chat. <laughs> Say that's pretty yeah. worth. Yeah. For the low, low price of $70,000 raised for Malala Fun. <laughs> Real quick, we also have a $25 donation from It's Me Toph. 
here's $25 to see even more of my favorite Pokemon spin-off. Much love to all the runners and staff, and always, trans rights. Less than three. Love to see all the trans rights donations. And we're getting some love for the run. It's a, we have a $25 donation from Draco. It says, hey Swift, good luck on the run. May the RNG always be in your favor. Less than three. Thank you. I appreciate it. And we have a $100 donation from Char Bunny. It says, yay Swiftaloo. I've been looking forward to this run all week. Less than three. Thanks for showing off this, for showcasing this game and the best of RNG for you. Thank you, Char Bunny. I loved, I loved the the opening this week when I saw the Prima guides for Pokemon Coliseum. I was like, oh my <laughs> word. <laughs> it was Hi, beautiful. Char. Hi. Got yeah. time for more? Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, real quick, I just like to remind everybody that we are raising money for Malala Fund. For those of you who don't know, Malala Fund is working for a world where every girl can learn and lead. With more than 130 million girls out of school today, Malala Fund partners with education advocates and activists who are breaking down barriers that hold girls back. So if you are donating, remember all of your donations are going towards a great cause, Malala Fund, helping educate girls and women. I'm sorry, we just got another <laughs> donation. Oh no. Go ahead. I'm um, worried. It's, it's not that bad. It says, it's a $5 donation from Chase. And it says, Bingus Redemption, Return of the Kingus. Ooh. Return of the Kingus, I love that. That's my favorite Lord of the Bings movie. <laughs> Lord of the Bings. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh. So, are you Blaze Swift? Sorry, I. Uh, I'm definitely going for Blaze here. Yeah. So this yeah. fight, uh, this is one of the few fight. Like, there's a couple of different places that you can set up Blaze on. I, if I'm generally like a slow Typhlosion, like I am right now, because Brave Nature's plus attack minus speed. Um, since I'm minus speed, I'm generally not outspeeding some things in here. So I like to set up Blaze a little bit later. You can set up earlier. Uh, but I set it up here because it's nice and safe. Like, if you miss Fire Blast, it's fine. If you miss the range, because this is a range, it's fine also, because this blaze setup is super sick fun, Rhyhorn. Uh, I didn't miss it, so, but I'm just gonna psychic my Typhlosion. It's one of the, you know, few times that you actually see us hit our own Typhlosion to get blaze. Yep. Now, luckily, did not crit it. That would have sucked. <laughs> yeah, Typhlosion dies, obviously, if you do crit it, which is super, super unfortunate. And it happens again more than you'd think and sometimes if your typhlosion has low enough special defense it will you cannot actually psychic it even with a spoon off because it will do too much damage at certain points so that also determines when we set up blaze here because it's it's still double damage right that's gen 3. yeah critting is double damage yeah yeah so Oof. yeah it's rough <laughs> Um, just so giving our SPM back Twisted Spoon. So because the XP here is now weird, I'm not 100% sure about it, but do you think we will get 50 for Flygon? I don't know. I, that's why I try I to keep the XP share as long as, long as possible. Yeah, that was on for quite a while. I saw for chat. Are we getting 50 for you? Oh, uh... Yeah. Um, Cordal, no. Come on, Cordal. I mean, apparently the note states this range for Psychic on this uh, Gramble is significantly worse, so I have a feeling that I'm not hitting level 50. Uh, I don't remember if that necessarily determines a. I don't well, my remember point how being long. is I've been level 48 here. Yeah. Okay, I didn't miss Fire Blast. This was an important one. If I did, uh, Typhlosion would have died to the Scramble. Uh, but luckily it didn't do that. <laughs> I'm not sure Court oh, knows. That's, that's actually arranged too with uh, says Typhlosion because yes. level 41. Thank you, Court. So, okay. 
We're getting 50 for flag on. Let's go. We just it don't have a, we don't have clay gone. No clay gone. Clay gone. Yeah. No one has ever gotten that lead, right? No, no one has ever oh. gotten that lead. I look at the memes channel and the hollow discord. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I know what this I know what this means. So yeah. Sparkle was on world record pace earlier this week, in fact, a few days ago, and uh, his, it, it died because he got Claydol Flygon lead, and it's uh, very funny how many times uh, people's runs have died to that. So basically, like, if we want to be level 50 for that fight, because then Psychic on the Flygon is a 75% range. Uh, or if you calcium, it's a little bit better, but that's a niche strat only done by one community member. But um, basically, you want to be level fit for that so the range is better. The range is very bad. <laughs> At level 49, it's still possible to hit, and people have hit it on pace. But the sad part about keeping the experience here on too long is that Typhlosion is going to be a bit underleveled, which makes Typhlosion miss a couple of ranges usually. So ideally, you take the experience off, share off as early as you can. But it's you've got to balance it up. If uh, the pace is good enough, you might want to keep the experience here on, just for the extra safety. Because unlike the Typhlosion ranges, that range is actually just detrimental to your run. And if you miss it, it's pretty much over, or at least you're losing a lot of time. Oh, that's not good. Don't want to do that. No. <laughs> you sense. don't want clay gone because that's what it's called, clay gone. Yep. Because play gone, because your run's gone. Yeah. Yeah. We want to see that. Fortress. Fortress would be great. Fortress is good. Fortress is almost always good. Steel bug, good. Very good. Is it like what's your, favorite steel bug, what's your favorite steel bug type, Ava? Oh yeah. There, there's this um, there's this Pokemon called uh, Durant from Gen Five. You know, going ant mode. I love ants. Uh, I love Durant. My favorite Pokemon. Uh, Lovely little the guy. True ant. It is a true ant. Canonically the true ant. Quite literally canonically true ant when it gets the ability truant. I think I but, might uh, do a second shopping for full heals. You know, I love your ant. <laughs> but yeah, I also think you're going to have to shop for extra, fo extra full heals here. I've did used so many this run, I kind of need more. Yeah, did you pick up the safety full restore? No, I didn't. Okay. Yeah, there's a full restore like a little bit earlier from here, just down a corridor. It's n almost never necessary to pick up, but it could be a nice safety item every now and then, depending on your, especially full heal count, but also just potion count. Yeah, banger so music uh, when they set off the alarm, by the way. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> this is uh, quite annoying. <laughs> Uh, but luckily we don't have to hear it for too much, as we'll mostly be doing fights while this alarm is on. Small. Real quick, I just want to jump in with an update on that instance. We have raised $4,700 for that. We are so close, we only have 1300 left. Everybody, keep donating. Tell us about your favorite Pokemon. Tell us how much you're enjoying the run. Uh, tell us how much how funny you would think it be it would be to rename Corvine Bingus. Uh, uh, anything you want to say, <laughs> as long as it's related to this run, go ahead and, and put it in the comment box and make sure you assign your donation to the incentive at the bottom of the page because it's not gonna go to the incentive unless you do that. So make sure you do that and keep donating. I'm not I'm not sweating yet. I'm not sweating yet. Chad hasn't proven to me yet that I should be worried. Honestly, I believe they can do anything at this point. Yeah. Sure, they did get it. They did get uh, a spion named Leafion. And fish. Remember, remember, they did that to spite you, Corbin. Chat will do a lot to spite me. This is just a. This is just a. a this is like a, a consistent thing with Pokemon commentators. I think. I think we just have an adversarial relationship with Chat. Pretty much. I feel like this happens to every Pokemon speedrunner in chat. It's uh, yeah, it's definitely an adversarial relationship. Do you want to get a few donations in before we get to uh, um, Ein. I, for Ein. I forgot. I was like, I forgot their name. Yeah. 
Yeah. Hold on, I have to input the passcode really quick. Uh, so this is random. This I have is to what kind of brute force it. Oh, second for. try. Good. Okay. Yeah, we don't so get this, the third one. We knew that this is what we picked up the samples for, so we knew that was by Liv Mightyana, and then we just have to guess. And sometimes you just guess the last try, and it's unfortunate, but usually that doesn't happen, so it's it's not really a big worry at all. But skipping any more than one sample, not great. I've seen someone do it just because the run was bad, and uh, it did not go well. <laughs> But yeah, uh, please continue with donations. Of course, of course. We've got a $25 donation from Logan Marr. It says, I remember sitting five inches from a TV with a VCR built in while playing Coliseum. Glad to see it going towards a good cause. Let's get that bonus run. We have a very generous $128 donation from JJ underscore VR. It says, Pokemon donation for 32 of my favorite Pokemon, Charmander. We also have a $25 donation. It says, hi, this is to my original Pokemon Squirtle, who has journeyed with me from Fire Red to Pokemon Scarlet. It also says in parentheses, to rename Corvome. Oh, man. <laughs> you still, there's still 3.9K to go for that, so. I mean, we do have an hour left in the run of maybe a little less than that, so I chat can do it. Chat can do a lot in that time. I don't believe in them. You don't believe in chat? I don't believe no. in chat. I don't think chat. they can do it. Chat, I believe in you. And since you obviously have some sort of adversarial relationship with Corvime, you should donate. So Corvime uh, will go by Bingus for the rest of the marathon. But I don't even have to worry about it because they're not going to do it. They're not going to do it. I'm sorry, chat. So Deloo. Uh, yes. Eva, what do you think? Do you think chat will do it? I think chat will do it because I'm going to need to do some two extra shoppings because I'm low on X items too. Okay, Swift <laughs> is is throwing for you, so... Exactly, that's right. But I still don't think they can do it. I know. <laughs> and, of course, renaming Corvum is just a bonus. What we're really aiming for, everybody, is that metronome bonus run. Um... We've seen a lot of donations come in for that, and we are, of course, very thankful for that. Our donation total on that right now is $4,758 out of the $6,000 we need. The time estimate on this run is about four hours, and we have to meet that incentive before the end of the run. So you have less than an hour to get that met. Uh, again, about a little over $1,200 left, or $1,200 left. So go ahead, get donating. Uh, there's, you can enter the command exclamation point donate in the chat to be taken directly to GDQ's uh, donation page. And remember, all of your donations are going towards Malala Fund, which is a great cause aiming to educate women. So go ahead, donate. I don't even And remember. tell me about your favorite Pokemon while you're at it. I don't even remember how this renaming thing came about. Like, how did this happen? I don't know. This pig is lost. I know because Bingus lost, but whose idea was it to, for me to be, have, have to go give oh, my name? Oh, that again? I don't know. It was like a random donation. Yours? It was just a donation <laughs> that said it. Okay. I did and not expect, like, your donation truly can change the world, apparently. Change the world. My final message, change my name, goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're on Ein right now. Um, uh, funny Einstein reference. Um, both means one in German. <laughs> yeah, this this Altaria can either use uh, Pursuit or Fly. I don't think I'm in range for either, so it's probably just going to go for Espeon. It can also use Toxic. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen it do that. I didn't even know it could do that. If all your <laughs> Let's party hope that doesn't happen. If all your, nope, it no, it can't do it. If all your party members are KO'd, it will Toxic. Because it sees that you that can't so switch out. funny. And that's um, like the AI just being silly sees you can't switch out, and it's like, oh yeah, toxic. That's gonna work. It's uh, it's not. It's actually not that bad, um, depending on a couple of variables. But it's usually not bad. But it's just like a curious find that I discovered during a marathon once, and 
it was fine, but it's just cool to, you know, have discovered a little niche interaction in the game where the AI sees something and interacts on that because the AI in this game cheats. I love cheating AI. Uh, anyways, that's Iron. That, that's done with that fight. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of detours. I'm gonna go grab some more X specials because I feel kind of low on them, which isn't good. I have like nine or eight left and I would like a little bit more, I think. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm gonna go grab some full heals and probably some hypers just to be safe. I think revive, maybe one or two revives. Yeah, I'll just get everything. It's more, it's more, it's more time for people to donate. For sure. Maybe read, maybe read a couple of them? Of yeah. course, yes. of course. There'll be a bit of walking weird. right now, so perfect time. Of course. Or... Of course. Yeah, so the alarm. now we'll just pretty much be walking through this alarm a little bit, try to get out of the building. So we're just gonna go around and buy a bunch of items that we're gonna need. Uh, are you gonna go to the under shop that sells herbs, or are you gonna go to? Fanatic? No, I'm going. Well, I'm going to the under shop, but not the. Oh. I don't even know where the one that sells herbs is. Oh, it's just off the left. Uh, once you head out into the disc room, it's just uh, like on the left. Real quick, uh, yeah, I have a challenge to you from one of our chat members. Uh oh. Uh, it's from Kat. They donate $131. They say, donating the dex number of my favorite Pokemon, I'll donate another 50 if Couch knows who it is. It's 131. 131. 100, like, dex number 131? Yeah. Ooh, I know Eevee's dex number, which is... Wait, it's, they, said, they, um, they said Couch, right? Yeah, well, the, uh, you're part of it. What is, one, what is, okay. what is Eevee's? Eevee's 133. So it's two before Eevee? Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to like picture the Let's Go tracker in my mind's eye right now. Porygon is after, I think. I do, I think Porygon is after. Um, two before Eevee. Uh, it's not one of the, the Vulpix or Arcanine, is it? Those are very early, no, yeah. Oh man, um. Oh, I can't, I can't say it now because I'm reading chat. <laughs> oh, chat knows it? Okay, I'm not looking at chat right now. Oh, yeah, I've not looked at um, chat either, so I'm still in it. All right. If we can't get it, then just pretend you don't look at chat so then they donate more money. I also feel Very like... Real quick. Uh, well, y'all think, we have reached $5,000 on that incentive, so this is exciting. $1,000 left, everybody. We can do it. We're so We're close. So close. It's, not, it's not Scyther, is it? I feel like maybe it is Scyther. Do you want to go with Scyther? I feel like Scyther's maybe a bit earlier, but I, I know it's pretty late. I can't I think, think of anything Poros. else, though. Yeah, you're right, actually. It's not going to oh, be Wait, Scyther. wait, wait, wait. Or is it like Electabuzz? Nah. Electabuzz and Magmar are pretty late down there. So are Hitmontop and Hitmonlee. I assume also we're talking about the Pokedex from this generation, <laughs> or... No, I figured we were well, talking about... I'm assuming they mean Kanto. The national decks, yeah. Oh, yeah. What do you want to go with, Ava? Because I think, I think Gyarados and Magikarp are earlier. I'm so... I'm so split. I feel like... I feel like it's around the Magmar Pinsers. Area, Tauros. I'm struggling to come up with anything, honestly. Like, I know Gyarados is 130, I think, but in the national decks at least. Is, Gar is Gyarados 130? Yeah. One after Gyarados? What's yeah, one Gyarados after Gyarados? Is 130. Is it on no. one of the sea routes? Uh, is it a horsey? Oh, it could be horsey. No, I think horsey's earlier, maybe. I also think Horsey's earlier. This is now the commentary. This is all you get now. <laughs> I mean, is, is this not what the what the people demanded? No, what but they asked ev for? everyone, this this is just you've nerd sniped me and Ava so bad. Oh god. Um, <laughs> it's, it's not Voltorb. That's earlier. Yeah. Right after 
Vegetarian? Stormy? I wish I could say literally anything. Also, oh my word, I almost forgot to eat through Psychic. That would have been terrible. I think, I think Starmie's Starmie. also earlier. Wow. Wanna do a Starmie? <laughs> Sorry, what? God, yeah, let's go with Starmie. Starmie. Okay. Starmie's your final answer? Yes. yes. Unfortunately, it is no. Lapras. <laughs> Oh, oh, it was Vingus the whole time? Yeah, it was Vingus oh the whole time. I thought it was later because okay, Porygon we didn't is get later. Plague we on get Leech. Porygon and Vingus very close to each other. Oh. <laughs> Wait, where's Scyther? What number is Scyther? I need to check Gyarados is 130 now because I think Gyarados is 130. Scyther's, Scyther's 123, so that's not that far off. Mm. Gyarados is 130. What is Starmie? Uh, one Starmie is oh 121. Okay, well, that was pretty, that was pretty oh. off. I is mean, Lapras the last on that block of, like, ocean ones? Probably. Um, yeah. I think so. God. That was. Oh. We did bad. We did a bad job. Yeah, that was that was horrible. <laughs> all was that the hardest thing I've ever done. Yeah, no, all that time, only for us to, to be, be able wrong. To I know. We were like. Ugh. All right, give somebody send in another one. Give us another. Yeah. Yeah. Quiz us on Pokemon. <laughs> I'm usually pretty good at Pokedex numbers, especially if you give me Gen Five. All right. Uh, I'm terrible. Continuing. At the tradition of Pokemon Dex numbers, though, we have uh, a $34 donation. It says, thank you, Nino King, for carrying me through my first playthrough of Pokemon Yellow. And that's from Turkey12. Thank you, Turkey12. We also have a $25 uh, dollar donation. It says, 25 Bulbasaur as a reminder that fans of grass type, the consistently most malign type of by Game Freak, are made of nothing but spite. Less than three <laughs> by type call. And we have a $15 donation that says, At this rate, Corbin May is going to start trashing all the evolutions to get donations. Donate now to prevent the impeding EV war in chat. I know, I, I'm so That's upset about back. this as an EV fan. <laughs> all right, all, all right, Jolteon fans, pay up. Prove your worth. <laughs> but I'm a Jolteon fan. Am I a Jolteon fan? No. I don't think so. Don't think fine. Got, we got a follow-up donation from Kat. It was $50. It says, it was everyone's best friend, Laphorus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and speaking Vingus. of... Speaking Vingus. of Laphorus, everyone, if you donate $25, you are entered to win, to win a crocheted Laphorus plush. So go ahead and donate. Maybe you can get a new best friend in the form of a Laphorus plush. Oh, that sounds so cute. I seriously appreciate people who crochet like plushies and stuff because so I have impressive. trouble doing it. <laughs> I, I crochet, crochet is incredibly impressive. Like I, I love, I love looking at crochet, crocheted items. I crochet stuff, but usually like clothing stuff. Except May's hat, which is knitted. That is true. I can, All right, I can only so. Okay. I'm sorry, I had to take a break because I read this one and I started laughing. It's $25 from Susie. It says, so we'll rename her because she can take it. Because she's not our hero, she's a loud guardian, a PowerPoint protector, a bingus. I hate this. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. We have... I mean, chat's uh, not even close, so like... No, they're they're not. They're they're slacking. Come on, chat. I know you can do better than this. We we have to meet that incentive first before we reach the seventy thousand, anyways. And we still we have some time left in the run, but we still need nine hundred dollars. Chat, come on. I want to see this metronome run. <laughs> but in the in the theme of renaming, we have a twenty five dollar donation from Comrade Nick. It says donation. Is Donating for Core Big May to be a thing. Good luck to Swift and great job to everyone behind the scenes. What's happening? Oh my god. <laughs> Core Big May. I mean, I support it, honestly. This is 
Don't encourage them. Okay, Bingus or Corbingme? I like Bingus better. I do like Bingus better, but uh, I support either. I think, I think Bingus rolls off the tongue easier. <laughs> it, it may roll off the tongue I mean, easier. I, I was Corvum Che after, uh, after AGDQ, so this is not like unprecedented. Yeah, here's our. Not yeah, the Ludicolo is back, by the way. Oh, yeah. Salsa. They are, but no salsa music. It's so sad. No, I took away the music for all the. for Mirror B. Like, you know, this might, I don't know if this is a hot take. I think I like his XD theme better. It's like a loop. I like it. Take. Um, I also like his XD theme better. They're both very good, but. Yeah, they are usually, both good. Yeah, it's one of those things where they're both good, but like I, I mildly prefer the XD one. Um, but, uh, both solid. The, but that, the, they're no Krabby Club, but you know. The Krabby Club, oh, that's that's absolutely one of my favorite songs from XD as well. Absolute banger. It's a certified banger, and it slaps so hard, and you don't get to see it in any percent, sadly. But in Hundo, you get to see it. Another long hundo category. <laughs> we have more donation challenges coming in <laughs> if you would like a puzzle it. All right, puzzle us. Oh boy. Okay, we've got a $25 donation from Cheesy Pie. They say, same spirit. My favorite is number 263. $50 more if you know it. Oh God, I don't know Gen 2 at all. Oh. 263? That's Gen 3. Is it? Yeah. Oh, was that early Gen 3? Oh, yeah. It's early Gen 3. There's only about, like, 90 Pokemon in Gen 2. What's the, fir what is, what's the first number in Gen 3? The first Isn't number there in Gen 3 is, like... in Gen 2? I think it's around 250 or something. Yeah. Is it that low? Or yeah. really? There's not yeah. very many. I'm looking up Trico's number. I don't think that's cheating. Okay, Trico's 252. Okay. What number was this? 263. 252... Three, four, six, five, plus seven, nine. eight, nine, ten. I want to say it was, it's like a Wurmple evolution. 263. Well, so is, are, is, is Wurmple before Zigzagoon? I think Pooch. Or Pooch. I think Pooch is first. I think it's Zigzagoon. I think it's Zigzagoon. Final answer? Uh. Yeah, I'm down to go for Zigzagoon. I guess it's either it's either Pooch or or Zigzagoon. I think it's and I don't remember which one is first. It is Zigzagoon. Oh, we're so smart! Wow, we're incredible. Tag team, let's go. That was so good. That was yeah. That was amazing. Yeah. And they, your your uh, taunting of chat is summoning the lovers of the evolu evolutions. We have a Jolteon lover joining us. The $25 donation, and they ask, who summoned me? Welcome. <laughs> welcome. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to, uh... Welcome to... Oh, my God, you know. Just fine, if you are yeah. just arri If you are just arriving or being summoned, this is Frost Fatales 2023, benefiting Malala Fun. <laughs> right now, Swiftaloo is playing Pokemon Coliseum, and if we meet the current donation incentive, Swiftaloo will play Pokemon Coliseum's Sequel Pokemon Coliseum XD, Gale of Darkness. So go ahead and get donating. And here's another puzzler that came in. We can think on this one for a while. It's a five dollar donation from Salty. It says, "Go, go, go, go. What dex number is my beloved go, go, go?" Oh, I have, I can't do it in reverse. I don't even know what Gen Six starts at. Oh God, I can't do go go either. <laughs> There's oh. no way. Like, what is Swift? What does Gen Five start at? You would probably know this. Uh, Gen Five. St Gen Five starts. Uh, I don't actually know what it starts at, but I know Victini's the first one. This is weird. But it goes into the five hundreds. I know that. Oh my God, Jump Club. Jump is so happy to be here. Sorry. Um. Yeah, I have no idea. I can't do it in reverse. I'm gonna go six forty three. Mm. Okay. I. I'm going to guess uh, five ninety-six. What am I gonna guess? 
I can go base it on the Durant National Dex number, actually. That I could do, if I remember. Yeah, so that's... Durant is 632, because I donated for that. Um, how much plus would it be? <sighs> Probably like 30? 6, um... 667. Alright, I'm looking it up now. No, 666 is Vivalon. Oh. We were all off. It was 673. That was only 30 off. That's yeah. pretty bad. I, it's a, it was pretty close. <laughs> I, you were better than I was. This it's is also, difficult. It is give difficult. Us, give, us, give us some more tough ones, but please just give us numbers, not the reverse. The reverse is so hard. Yeah. It is. Um, real quick though, before I, before we get some more of those, we are at five thousand four hundred forty-two dollars raised out of the six thousand dollars we need. We just need six hundred more. Everybody, I know you chat, you can do it. But also remember, you get the PowerPoint, and we get Bingus. Absolutely. So, just a quick note about this fight. This is Venus too. Um, it is my least favorite fight in the game. Um, <laughs> I believe it's it's on top of most Colorado's least favorite fight lists. Uh, some of its first, second, I whatever. Fight. I was also it, very scared because I wasn't sure if I hit level 46 for this fight because I was like, well, I don't really want to fire blast to the Lawson because I'm so close to 46. <laughs> luckily, luckily you did get it though, so you want to be 46 here, so this Blossom is guaranteed. Um, and you can go for that instead of having to fire blast this, which is scary. And uh, the, Sorry, go ahead. The Wigglytuff coming out here as well as the 75% range, and look, if anything in this fight lives, uh, you're done. And, it, well, it's not a 75% range with Fire Blast, but with Psychic Data. And, but we have to hit another Fire Blast here. And hopefully we do that, because this is, again, one of those fights where not only is there are there Fire Blasts, but there is also a Psychic range, and sometimes a Blossom range, which just makes this fight an absolute nightmare sometimes. Uh, but yeah, what were you going to say? I did hit I it. Say yeah! Let's go. I was gonna say my brain is cooked because I heard this. I heard you say this fight is Bingus 2. <laughs> this is. Yeah, we can, we can call it Bingus 2 from now on, sure. Venus is also Bingus. Yeah, sounds about the same, honestly. The notes are already difficult. You're gonna make it more difficult by renaming everything Bingus. Yeah, why not? Bingus, every Pokemon's name Bingus. We won't be able to understand what combinations are. It's going to be one of those words you look it up in the dictionary, and there is like 43 definitions. <laughs> send in tar target fish and send in Bingus. Speaking of Bingus, we are, of course, getting lots of love for Bingus. We have a $100 donation from Problem Patcher. It says, Thank you, Frostface Owls, for making the move to our new place an amazing time. Currently watching Coliseum from a MacGyver Chromecast and a partially assembled futon. Here's to Metronome and ext <laughs> to extend an already bonkers run. P.S. Bingus for life. Oh, I, my brain for a second there was like, they make a MacGyver-themed Chromecast? That's the best thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> no, I figured it out. I thought for one second. MacGyver so themed Chromecast. That honestly, that sounds just incredible. A MacGyver themed love. I, I love MacGyver. It's so good. I have seen quite yeah. a bit of MacGyver as well. <laughs> I've seen my fair share. Chat, we are quickly closing in on that incentive, but keep donating. We're nearing the end of the run. Um, we are at. $5,577 raised, which means we need just a little over four hundred dollars. No, did it update on it? Oh, we need we still need a little over four hundred dollars, so keep donating. If you want to send us oh, a we're puzzle so close. on a dex entry, go ahead. Oh, we've got some if you want to puzzle over them. Alright. I I'm gonna I'm gonna need the first Pokemon of each gen in order to do these, I think, if they're over like gen three. <laughs> Okay, I can provide those, if that is all right with everybody. Um, we have a $5 donation from Sandy and asks, what is Pokemon 424? So, all right, what's Churchwig? I will find that out for you. Oh, 
Do you know what would be really handy Wait, right 425 now? is Drifloon. Oh. So it's one before Drifloon. Oh. Which means I have no idea. Miss <laughs> Miss Magus? I think this is uh, where all those Gen 4 um, like uh, new evolutions are, right? So like Honch, Crow, Miss Magus, Lopin, or not. Yeah, but Lopin is there. Yeah, and Venere is there. But I don't know what's before that. No, this is... This is my community trolling me by giving me one before Drifloon. Yeah. This stinks. This sucks. I hate this. Because I'm pretty sure it goes Drifloon, Venere, Lopunny after. And I'm pretty sure Miss Magus is after that. So I don't think it's Miss Magus. It's not Miss Magus? Okay, then... Um... I, I have no clue. I don't know. It's Dr Oh, this it's this the worst thing to ever happen. Venarian Lopini might actually be before. Because 426 is so free for me. And 424 is so hard. <laughs> I gotta right. go with Miss Vegas, that's all I got. Um I'm gonna go with the Lopini. Lopini? Alright. Uh Swiftalier, you wanna take a wild guess? I have no idea. I don't know Gen 4. <laughs> Alright. Um Unfortunately, it is actually uh, Ambipom. What? Oh, I would have never gotten that. Never gotten that. Why no. is it Ambipom? Well, I was kind of right. I said that's the area where all the like new evolutions are, like Honchkrow and. <laughs> so I was <laughs> kind of there. Uh, all right. Give us some more donations. <laughs> of course, of course. Um, real quick, we have some people coming in to to. Look just poke a little fun. They say, uh, it's a $25 donation from Igna, Ig Enigma Requiem. So it's missing out on Metronome and missing out on more bingos that simply will not fly. $25 towards the bonus Metronome run. And we are getting so close to that chat. Chat, we are just about $200 away. Keep donating. Keep sending us puzzles or riddles. I love this. Um, we have somebody who is upset that we didn't identify Lapras correctly. And Lapras Soul donates $25 saying, Your failure to identify Lapras paid me deeply. Sad face. I'm sorry. Oh no, I'm, so I'm sorry, sorry, Bingus. Uh, Gen 1 Pokedex okay. number is not my forte. Here we go. Give me Gen 5. I have $178 from an Onyx Mouse. They've been very generous. Thank you, Onyx Mouse. It says an additional 50 if you can guess my second favorite Pokemon, number 178. In the meantime, a limerick to inspire chat. With all the joy Pokemon brings us, this bonus one would be a big plus. Let's donate some dough for the PowerPoint show and renaming Corpome Bingus. Man. <laughs> Which number was it? It is uh, 178. All right, so, so 152 is obviously... Um, Trickery, trickery, right? Yeah. Yes. So we're 26 over that. Uh, Two meat early came in gen two. Uh, is it Steelix? I feel like Steelix is later. Could it be? Uh, could it be later? I don't know. I'm just, I'm just going... Lantern? I'm just thinking based on... It could be Lantern. It could be Lantern. I'm just thinking off of the donor name. No, I think Chad spoiled it for what it was for me. What it is again? Ah. All right. Any I'm guesses? Go with lantern. Lantern is my guess. Fur it. That's what oh, I guess. Fur it. Okay. No, I don't guess. actually we, know. I, I'm each, guessing. Oh, wait, hold on. We could we could be smart about this. If we each do a different guess, that's three times as likely that one of us will get it right. So True. I'm gonna go with Steelix. Okay. I went lantern. Okay. I picked for it. I think for it's okay. earlier. It's it's Zantu. Zatu? Oh, Zatu. Oh, Zatu. I love Zatu. I should have known that. I looked up Zatu like yesterday. How did I not know? I was just looking into something. And then, oh, I feel bad about not getting that one. It's okay. 
chat. We are so close to that bonus run. We are about $75 away. Anybody oh, we can, can get donate there. and snipe that. Oh, no, I just updated. We are about $40 away. Go ahead and donate now. Maybe you are you can be the one who gets us over that edge. If we reach it before I get to this next gauntlet fight, I will walk out of here and I will go name Umbreon Bingus right now. Chat. Yep. Yeah. Get those Chat, ranges in before the end of the fight. This fight's pretty quick, so you gotta, gotta do it quickly. But yeah, this fight is fun. There's technically two days. fights, because there's yeah. Gonzep. There's Gonzep as well. So this fight is interesting. That it has three different cases. And this fight is one of the primary reasons why we started having such high staff requirements for Espeon, because it gives us the optimal case for this fight, which saves quite a bit over the least optimal case. But pretty much, uh, it's just a damage calc of whether Espeon is dead to a self-destruct. Uh, or from the Nussleaf, or an explosion from the Graveler, or if it's dead to both. And depending on um, depending on the outcome of that, you also decide which of the cases you get. So ideally you get case one or three, but uh, if <laughs> sometimes you will get case two and it's quite unfortunate, but that, did, that is not the case here. All right, was it met in time for Swift to, to, to run out? No, I, I will walk out as soon as I beat Gonzo. Oh, it's easy to beat, okay. Yeah, there's... Yeah, because afterwards I can't really walk out anymore. I will be honest. I am beginning to become slightly concerned about promises I made in the past. <laughs> <laughs> Chat. Uh, I just, uh, real quick. We have the PowerPoint. We have Big Kiss. And, of course, the most important one, the bonus metronome run. <laughs> And then past that, if we can reach a stretch goal of $70,000 raised before the end of this run, you can rename Corbin for the rest of the event to Bingus. And we've reached it. We I have just heard, hit. I just we heard the from the control room. Yes. <laughs> oh my I word. <laughs> 6k for the bonus All right, I will run. walk out of here after this Gonzap fight and I will go name Bingus. <laughs> <laughs> back to that, the name reader again. That gives it them is, so much more time to ruin is my so, life, Swift. It is, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Just You're welcome. Um, chat, our next stretch goal is $70,000 to remove your name Corpo May Bingus for the rest of the oh, event. Man. As a quick update, we are sitting at $67,548. Now, doing the math in my head, that's about, what, $2,500? until we reach our stretch goal. You have some time, so start donating. Um, not very much, so you have to hurry. Get started, chat. <laughs> okay, while we're waiting for Swiftaloo to get back to uh, Agate, um, I have another riddle for you. Are you ready? I'm ready. Sure, this is I the am an time. Eon. I am an Eon that is part of a champion's team. My number is 471, what am I? Uh, it's an e wait, so it's, it's Latios. 471. No, that's way too high. Hold on. Yeah. Eon. Eon. Are they but talking wait. about, are they talking about like an evolution? Oh, an Eon. I was thinking the Eon duo. I didn't even think about the number. So 471. So it's a for evolution? Is it, Maybe? Is it, Le is it Leaf Eon? It could be Leafeon. I think it's. I think it might be Leafeon. Yeah. <laughs> well, somebody somebody had to do Glaceon, but it's either a Glaceon or a Leafeon, obviously. Uh, okay, Corbin May, what is your guess? All right, Eva, what's your guess? I'm also gonna go Leafeon just because I'm feeling it. Uh, remember, there are two evolutions in that generation. Swiftly, what's your guess? I'm reading chat. <laughs> oh no! Swift! Stop! Real quick, does anybody want to change their guess? Changing it better not be Glaceon. Finneon. I'm gonna be mad if it's Finneon. That's cheating. <laughs> I'm changing with the Glaceon. Okay. You can change, the, change the hers. Um, it is Glaceon. Fuck! Ah. <laughs> well, it was, it was either. <laughs> so, double dark chances there, I guess, by me changing. 
my channel's cool. Probably like just minus channel. chat, but like, I want it just in case someone asks a question, you know? Yeah, <laughs> it's great to have it open, honestly. Oh, oh my god, have... I'm just just checking the chat and I'm seeing people typed Finion. If it was Fin <laughs> or Luminion, that would have been a, that would have been great, honestly. So we're going to be teaching Earthquake here. Useful Pokemon move. Um, sometimes you don't need to teach Earthquake in very niche scenarios where we have hidden powers, but uh, we're definitely going to be teaching Earthquake here. And then we're going to be putting Metatite in slot 3 and then switch it to slot 1. So it takes tight. And position. then we're going to go all the way back down. <laughs> and we're going to go all the way out. There's Absolutely. no RNG manipulations that this mess up, messes up, right? <laughs> No, <laughs> it's, it's just a lot of time. So if we got donations to read. Of course, of course. Let me go ahead and get all of these wonderful uh, donations that are cheering you on Swift. Uh, we have Something Smart donating $50. It says go Swift. Thank you. We have a $25 donation from CyJ. It says, hey everyone, super glad to see this game on in a GDQ, Coliseum and its sequel are perfect for learning VTC and are just great games in general. Good luck, Swift, and let's get that metronome run. We have, thank you all for your donations. Um, let's see. Ah, we have some more riddles for you. Um, uh, do you want a low number or a high number? Low, uh, Slow is probably ahead. easier. Low okay. is probably easier, but it's more embarrassing if you get it wrong. <laughs> okay. This is the lowest number I've gotten so far. It's a $33 donation. It says 33 for my fave Pokemon. And the name of the donator is Gen 3 Superiority. <laughs> I think, isn't 33 Arcanine or Growlithe? No. What's Growlithe? Isn't that 54? Five because we had a donation earlier. Oh, for is it Bullpix? We have a donation. We had we had we had a thirty-four dollar donation. I'm pretty sure we had a thirty-four dollar donation. And I'm pretty for sure what? for Nido King. Really? Nido King's higher than that, I thought. Someone said they, I believe it was Harry Potter, but said Nido King carried them through Pokemon Yellow. I don't. Why do I not remember this? So. Then, okay. then I guess it's Nido. Uh, what is even? The, what is it called again? Nidorino. Oh yeah, <laughs> Nidorino. I mean, That's... if you think it's if you think it's that, if you, if you're confident, then I will defer to you. I am confident there was a thirty-four dollar donation earlier. Nidorino. It is Nidorino. <laughs> good job. Okay. It was so good at this. <laughs> I just. I just remembered there was a previous donation or I wouldn't have gotten it. Okay. <laughs> we have a $25 donation from Catherine. It says, can you guess my favorite little weirdo? Number 206. So 223 is Mantine, and this doesn't help me at all. <laughs> favorite little weirdo. Wait, which number was it? Sorry. 206. Pineco? Oh, I have no clue. No, I have no idea. What's a little... I'm really bad at these. All right, Gen 2 little weirdos. Sunkern. <laughs> Neko. <laughs> Why not? Um... Are you trying to say Trimeco or Pineco? Pineco. Okay. This is, this is a hint. <laughs> um, it was... scary earlier in the run. Oh, uh, Yanma? Oh. No, it's not Mantine. Mantine's 23. No. Okay, then Apon maybe Yanma. Gentile. No, it could be Furret. Furret's too early. No, Furret's, oh, it's probably Furret. Furret's earlier, probably, because it's a root. Because it's an early game Evo. So, uh, Yanma makes sense. Might be Yanma then. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking Yanma. I can't come up with anything else, at least. It's right. done. It's done sparse. Oh, done sparse. 
Dunn's parsley uh, is a pretty is a pretty weird, a little weirdo. <laughs> that's fair. Okay, yeah. I, I would never have gotten that. <laughs> yeah, same. I love that I keep looking back and it's just <laughs> we're still going. It's great. Is this it? Is this the last fight? Uh, uh nope, no. we got five more fights. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> like seven more fights. All I right. forget how many. There's like this whole gauntlet, then we fight Nascor who has like the best uh theme in the game. You should you should definitely listen to it, uh chat if you haven't. Uh, you'll get to hear it in this run, so you should definitely stick around for that. I'm feeling, I'm feeling a bit more calm again. I was worried there for a second, but now that we only have five more fights, plus the metronome, it's like, yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're sitting we're sitting pretty good at six, 67,576, uh, last I checked. Um, chat, you're missing an opportunity. <laughs> to rename Corbinate Fingers for the rest of, the, of an event, but that's what you want to do. I don't make your choices, chat. You do. Um, so, what do we got? What do we need to know about this, about the, this gauntlet fight? Um, if you die at all, then you have to restart it. Uh, I think it traced synchronize, but I don't remember. Uh, but it's pure power it can trace, which is exactly like huge power. They are they are the exact same ability. It's just they're called different things. But we have other abilities like that, like Protean and Libero. No idea. Well, there's a lot of moves that this. Oh, yeah, we're gonna like get to that. see. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna get to see one of my favorite models in the game, which is Sharpedo, because it looks like TV static. <laughs> like, how many versions of Bold Breaker are there? Because there's there's Turbo Blaze, and then there's the other one. Uh, Reshiram. Uh, donations. Yeah, of course. Um, somebody says I'm throwing Corp Bingus an easy one. Twenty-eight dollars for my favorite Pokemon. Who are they? And that is from Comfy Panda. All right, so we, Comfy Panda. We established thirty-three is Nidorino, which means thirty-two, and then three before that. So that's twenty-nine. What are we going for? Twenty-eight. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Psyduck, is it? Or well, no, because it would have to be Gold Duck then. Duck, yeah. I think that's. It could be Gold Duck, actually. TV static! Goodbye! Sorry, it's just funny. Uh... <laughs> uh, all the All the Let's Go Diploma Runners right now are like. Wow, man, you should know this. You should know all of this. What is directly before? How is this an easy one? <laughs> man. It's okay. I need a hint. A hint, um... I believe it's a... 
Here, here's my hint. It's a mouse Pokemon. I don't think it's... I don't think it's... No, Radic I think Raticate's earlier. Yeah, I think Raticate's also a rat. It could be Pikachu. It could be... Or it could be Raichu. It could be Sand Slash. It could be... I almost said Meowth because it sounds like close to Meowth. But uh, Meowth's kind of the opposite. Not Meowth. Ava, pick, pick your favorite of those. Mouse Pokemon, uh, Persian. No, that's a cat. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. It's it's Persian. Okay. All right. It is <laughs> Slam Slash. And for those of you in the Fatals community, I'm sure you've heard of Hand Slash. Oh. Which is why, which is why I was laughing the entire time. Oh my god, hand slash? <laughs> if you haven't seen the cursed image that is hand slash, um, I'm sure you will at some point. Yeah, I have not seen hand slash. Now I'm curious. <laughs> I'm very curious. Uh, now. Give us another, give us another. We can run a. Okay. We, can, we can, we can. Let's see, uh, how about. Uh,. I think we got time for one more because we got one more fight and then we should probably explain Nascore. Yep. Very okay. fair. Uh, I apologize because this is the this is a high number. It's 524 for uh, 524, my favorite Pokemon. Any guesses from Lemon Carrots? All right, so what is what is Nivy's number? So we have a baseline. So Nivy is 495. Gen 5 is so hard. There's so many Pokemon in it. 524 and 495 is going to be something Gen 5. Who even knows? What was it? It Five, was 524. 524. So far behind Durant. <laughs> I know the one's close to Durant. Wait, which one's, which one's Durant? 632. It's 100 away. Yeah, Gen 5 has like 8 million Pokemon. You're not going to get this one. Is it something esoteric? A little. Give us a hint. <laughs> um, rock. Oh, is it rock? Is it the a rock? Is it the is it the rock? Like, the, the, um, what's it called? Is it I rock and roller? Yes. Oh yeah, I was that. That was what I was thinking of. Like literally, the rock. <laughs> No, it's it's Dwayne the Rock Johnson. I guess. <laughs> I can't believe we got all the way to the 500s before we got uh, Dwayne the Rock Johnson as a Pokemon. True. All right. Should've so now earlier. We have to explain the game again, apparently. Yes. So upcoming next is NASCAR. This is one of the longest flow charts of the round. And yep, it's only very next long. to the the next fight that's right after it. I um, want you yeah. all to know that the dock for this has links because it's so long you have to click the link to get to the part you want. And even then, Quite it funny. has multiple branches on each single combo. So currently there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten possible combos that are routed out in this dock. And all of these combos are going to have a bunch of different branches depending on X item usage, depending on maybe a little bit of healing item usage, depending on which Pokemon gets sent in because that's also random uh, and can be different. So these these parts of the notes make up about 20 pages and they reminder that the notes in total are 99 pages. So 20 pages is quite a yeah. big chunk for two fights of the game. Sure is. It, is. it is. It is very complicated, which is why we should probably explain. Also, you get to hear the best theme anyways, so you know, there's that as well. Um, sure. Let's see That's what lead I get. I personally don't want to see Gardevoir uh, first. I don't really like Gardevoir leads. Gardevoir is like probably the scariest Pokemon on the Nascore's team. Zatu lead is usually fine. Why does Nascore, yeah, Zatu's fine. Why does Nascore look like Dark Riku? Because it is, is. Everyone keeps saying that whenever... Hollow is like Unfortunately, Thumbs, I got whatever. Gardevoir. I got but Gardevoir. It's like a War Final Boring. Fantasy or Kingdom Hearts thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's one of those. 
So, uh, we have Meditite sent back out because we get healed right before this fight. Um, so I'm going to boost Espeon here. And we're going to do double boost. Uh, Meditite's going to unfortunately die here. I'm sorry, Meditite. Uh, we're, Ty's going to come in, though. The only good part about this combo is that you don't even need to click on the link. You can just look down and it's the first combo. It is. The bad parts great. are everything else. Because Card War is funny. Card War does a lot of damage basically, and um, it also has Destiny Bond, which can be very annoying depending on. I don't think I've ever seen it out. use Destiny Bond. And I got oh. frozen! Wow. Oh, now awesome. you get to see me do uh, this really cool strat, which is going to be funny. Uh, so I'm frozen. You might be wondering, Swift, how are you going to get out of this? Well, did you know that Flame Wheel has this lovely extra added effect where if you're frozen, you will unfreeze if you use it and also attack? Doesn't Scald also do that? I don't know about Scald, but I know I know for sure Flame Wheel does. So that's exactly what I'm doing. Very, very useful in this very, very niche scenario. <laughs> uh, but I needed it here, so... Unfortunately, Absolutely. I will need uh, Fire Blast. Oh. Gardevoir really, okay. like, hams it up, hum, whenever she takes damage. Yeah, I'm going to use his moves as well. It's, it's a nice animation. <laughs> so, I'm going to KO Blaziken here. Hopefully hit this Fire Blast. Yeah, this is an important one. If I don't hit it, that kind of stinks, but, you know... It's one of those things that are okay, recoverable, it. but really annoying. It's mostly annoying because getting Ty out again is super awkward, but there's a Metagross coming up. Oh, it's a Shadow Pokemon uh, who, um, uh, who is really awkward do? for Espeon to kill. Say, please, wait, Fire Blast. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, it used x -Specs. Okay. Sorry, I was like really confused because the notes was telling me to double up on Dustclops and I was like, you want me to do that? Yeah, it's because of this Sato status. Is, yeah. I believe. Oh. Well, I mean, it, it used x -Specs anyway, so the AI. Yeah, this so thing Sato is a does banger. Sato does have kill AI, but it's fine just because uh, you kill Metagross coming in, and then uh, yeah, then you just finish Sato. Yeah. Yeah. I was confused there for a second. Oops. <laughs> yeah, no, I was confused too. So don't worry. I was trying to read the notes. I was like, what is going on? Oh, whoa, Metagross, what's going on there, buddy? Yeah, that's uh, right. this. This Metagross is probably the least scary part about this fight because it also no, always iron defenses on turn one. Just its recoil animation. <laughs> oh, not recoil Pokemon, but like recoiling. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, the, the damage taken animation. Yes, they, there we go. It's, uh, th there's so many good damage taken animations in this game. But yeah, that's NASCAR, right? right. It's a beautiful, beautiful yep. theme. And, and now we have the mayor. Oh my goodness. He's like, he's so, he's so nice. He's here to save the day. Oh, thank you for coming. Like, I know you, you helped us when we were in trouble in Fennec City and uh, Rui was kidnapped and everything, but I'm so glad that he's back. Oh, uh, never mind. He's he's evil. So yeah, this Some is a... runners like to call this split evil Santa Claus. <laughs> yeah, it's it's Evis, and um, he's scary, and uh, you don't want Zizor lead. Just don't mm -mm. beat Zizor. Mm-mm. Yeah. Well, Every I mean, other Metatite is shifted onto it, so... Yeah, but, but you know still... Still, Caesar is Champ annoying. Champ Slowking! That is... Okay, I think. I think it's fine. Yeah. Yeah, my Champ Slowking is okay. It's not an ideal lead. My Champ Slacking and Slacking Slowking are pretty good. But uh. this this lead is, like, fine. It's As long as Caesar isn't there... Or Zazor, it's uh, it's usually fine. Oh, next attacks turn one. Okay, I need you to know this fight is eleven pages of notes. It's good. Oh wait, you know what I forgot to do? What? Give them the PowerPoint. Boom. <laughs> yeah, because I edited the PowerPoint. 
So it's the perfect sheriff. Oh, yeah, it is. I pasted in chat. Enjoy it. Let's go. You chat. now have access to the PowerPoint. Chat, I want donations telling us about that PowerPoint and how good of a PowerPoint it is. You it's can really see the, good. Uh, yeah, it's great, actually. Like, you can see the effort that Swift put into it. It's amazing, honestly. And uh, cough, cough, if you want to donate uh, to reach 70,000 before the end of the night, um, we're really close. We have, like, we're at 67,000. $891? I mean, we could do it. It would just take some donations now. We'd have to hurry. Yeah, get in some time for Metro now. I'm all mm -hmm. fine. I'm sitting pretty. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I think I should be fine here. Wow, special defense drop from Shadow Ball. That's so funny. Did you know that Shadow Ball is a physical move in this gen? I love Gen 3. <laughs> God, the physical special split. It's like the best feature of this game. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't think we ever explained, but um, special and physical moves are based off whatever type they are. So, Lame Wheel is a special move, even though in later gens it's physical. It's extremely convenient that the physical special split is not a thing in a lot of Pokemon speedruns, just because quite a few speedruns, I believe, use Bite, and especially Pokemon XD. Pokemon XD keeps Bite from the first fight until the last fight, and it uses it on the last fight. So, Bite being special, and you use Espeon there as well, it's just super, super convenient. So, um, yeah, here comes Slacking. If the Slacking is out at the same time as Slowking, the AI is actually hard-coded to skill swap with the Slacking. And uh, that yep. will override even kill AI, which almost so never happens. So funny. It is, it's, um, yeah, it's like... That's so this, funny. It's it's really useful for the speedrun, but uh, it's really mean casually. Yeah, it's really cruel. <laughs> and yeah, as you probably have noticed as well that we didn't mention, all these Pokemon are incredibly high level compared to us because the level curve in this game is perfect and there's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> it sounds like a certain Generation 2 Pokemon game. Yeah, and now we have the final Pokemon out, which is the Shadow Tyranitar, the ultimate Shadow Pokemon. This Pokemon has the largest heart gauge in this game, uh, if I remember correctly. Yep. It's just great to purify. Um, but anyways, it just dies to our hidden power grass. Never mind, uh, it lived, but don't worry, Flame Wheel's gonna finish it. <laughs> it's nice bulky Tyranitar. Yeah, and Sandstorm gives a special defense boost, right? That too. Yeah. But is that? I was plus this, two. I thought that was added later. No, it's, just, no, it's also I in think this one. I think. Trend. I think that was well, added I in Gen sand 3. Pokemon to look it up, and um, it gave me uh, sand dial. Right. So, <laughs> so the better timing ends on the first black frame after Ho -Oh flies away. It'll be coming up here in about a minute. Here, I believe it's a minute and. 19 seconds? It was a Gen 4 it's mechanic. Like a and I knew seconds. it. Five seconds, I think. I mean, no, it's more than a minute than five seconds. No, because I have a split for it. Are you sure? <laughs> I do have a split for it. Mm. <laughs> I promise. Now I'm, now I'm concerned. My memory's, my memory's failing me. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it is a minute and five seconds. What is a minute and 17 seconds for 19? <laughs> Something. Anyways. All right. And timing is... Now. Oh. GG. 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 Oh, my word. Fantastic, Ron Swift. That was great. It was good. There was, there was some yeah. funny things that happened, but it was good. Um, I guess I have a couple of shout outs. Uh, shout outs to my couch for being here, especially shout outs to me for staying here for six hours commentating <laughs> grunts. Not. Holy I will moly. always commentate for Swift. Yeah. Shout outs to Ava for being here. Shout outs to Critique for being a wonderful host. Shout outs to Zeke for coat 
bring, for teaching me so much about this game, honestly, in the last month, there's so many strats that I wouldn't have been doing or learning about uh, if not for him. Um, I'm sorry I didn't do Maku strats. I was not going to do Maku strats. <laughs> um, sure. Shout out to General. Hmm? I'm sure you can see past it. <laughs> True. Um, shout outs uh, in general to the Coliseum Discord if you are interested in joining, uh, learning about this game. Uh, they are super, super wonderful, and this is just a wonderful game. It is a very hard Pokemon speedrun, but it is a really good Pokemon speedrunner. Oh yeah, shout outs to Juan, since Juan's here. Uh, we, we, named your, we named your Typhlosion fish. <laughs> All right, I do believe we're gonna go to a break really quick while we get set up for the incentive. So while we get ready for that, everybody, let me go ahead and read a few more of those donations. Um, all of them that came in were so thankful for. We raised, um, so far, a total of $67,901. Um, again, font falling just a little short of renaming Corvame Bingus, but that's okay. We have some donations coming in to help us get, the, get there. We do have the incentive to meet that, but I'd chat it'd be great to meet it but you are running out of time we have a five dollar donation from anonymous it asked when do we have to reach 70k for by bingus part two it's a great question i do believe it's the end of the incentive but it's okay we can fudge it a little we have a 250 dollar donation from anonymous thank you anonymous for that lovely donation we also have a few more of those uh, challenges coming in that we didn't get to, but I'll I'll read them for chat to look at. We have uh, you can guess in chat. We have a six twenty three uh, donation. It says six twenty three for number for number Pokemon six twenty three. Who is this underrated punchy boy who can learn fly? Ten dollars if you guess right. By Wazo Wazoki. Zoko. We have a 3870 donation. It says donating 3870 for Turtwig one tenth the size of a normal Turtwig from Anonymous. Here we go. We have a $50 donation from Carl Bingus42. It says, I will donate another 50 if you can guess my favorite beloved Bingus, Pokemon 470. This has been so much fun. Thank you all so much. Less than three. <laughs> we have chat and we have some donations coming in, uh, <laughs> praising the PowerPoint. We've got a $5 donation from Nog Gog. It says the sacred text, AKA PowerPoint. And again, we just have that last incentive until we finish up for the night. But while we're waiting on that, I would like to remind everybody that this is Frost 2023 supporting Malala Fun. Malala Fun is working for a world where every girl can learn and lead. They believe local educators and advocates are best suited to address the problems girls face in their communities. Malala Fund invest in their work and collective power to create change, hold leaders accountable, and give girls the tools they need to advocate for themselves. From supporting STEM education for young women in Pakistan to creating safe learning spaces for girls in northern Nigeria, your gift today is an investment in Malala Fund programs that directly benefit girls. And remember, if you're not sure how to donate, you can just type exclamation point donate in chat and you'll get a link that'll lead you directly to the Frost Fatales donation page where you can assign your donation to incentives and view all the prizes that are up for grabs during this uh, day of the marathon. We've got a $50 donation that just says Bingus from Anonymous. We have a $5 donation from Happy Bear. She says, Bingus, Leafeon, the best name for Espeon is Farfetch'd. 
We do have a $100 donation. Thank you so much, Anonymous, for that $100. That is so generous. And you know, chat, I'd just like to give ourselves, give you a pat on the back. Uh, during that run, we raised $6,607, which isn't bad for a four-hour run. That is a lot of money, and it's all going to Malala Fun. Now, there is, of course, more Flame Fatales fun to be had. And if you would like to check out the Japanese Restream, we would like to thank the Japanese Restream for providing an alternative alternate language broadcast of Frost Fatales 2023. Japanese Restream is a community where people can enjoy various speedrun events held abroad in Japanese. They are broadcasting the event at twitch.tv slash Japanese Restream on a delay. Check out the schedule by doing exclamation point Restream in the chat. We would love for viewers to join their stream and support the event. We've got a $5 donation from Bingus. It just says Bingus. We did eventually get Bingus in the form of Umbreon. So thank you everybody who helped us reach that goal. And I know it's getting late in some places. It's getting late here where I am. I hope you're still comfy and cozy and ready to stick around and see what exactly this metronome uh, run is that we've been hyping up all night. I know I am. Don't forget to take care of yourself and stay hydrated. Maybe get up and stretch during this break. Get a blanket, make sure you're warm wherever you are. We had another one of those uh, guess the Pokemon number come in. Uh, it is number 710. Uh, the donation is from Paticus. It is for $25. They say, I feel this is a much loved Pokemon in the community. I will be sad if y'all don't get it. 710. Again, another hard one. I know the, the new Pokemon are a little bit more difficult for everybody to remember. We've got a $9.80 donation. It says, I saw this squishy girl for the first time, and I just knew she'd be have my heart forever. Can you guess 980 from Ye old Joe. Ye old Joy. I'd also like to shout out Sega, our sponsor for the event. Sonic the Hedgehog is no stranger to going fast. From games to movies, shows, and comics, comics and everything in between, there's always something new speed speeding your way. Be sure to follow Sonic, www.sonicthehedgehog.com, to keep up to date on everything the Blue Blur, Blur is doing and keep breaking those world records. And I know we're about to get cozy and go to Hot Cocoa uh, Sleep Percent, everyone. But Thursday is the next day of our event. And we have some amazing runs on the schedule. Um, first up is Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage run by Rexy. They are running 14 Talismans New Game Plus on the PlayStation. There's also Star Wars. If any, there are any Star Wars fans out there, we've got Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy coming up, and Axiom and Verge for your 2D Metroidvania fans. And I'm very interested to know what this run is. About six o'clock tomorrow Eastern Time, we have Dark Souls Two coming up um, by Very Very Curry. And interestingly, the run for this is labeled soup percent. Now, I have no idea what that means, but I'm very excited to find out. <laughs> and 
we've got a very one of my favorite games, Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus, all keys on the PS3 by Alice at Wonderland Games. I'm very excited for that run. You guys should tune in and see what happens. And just a reminder that the prizes are closing out soon. So if you would like to donate and get in to those, if you donate $25, you are in for all of them. To include a Pokemon Tote, the Espeon and Ombreon Perlers, the Shiny Furret Plushie, and a Crochet Lapras. All, of course, are must-haves for Pokemon fans, which... I'm going to be honest, I'm a big Pokemon fan. I've got my donation in. I know y'all in chat are also big Pokemon fans. And go ahead and get donating now so you can get into those. And you don't miss your chance to get some cool prizes. All right, everybody. I just got word that the incentive is ready. So whenever you're ready, Swiftaloo, take it away. Uh, as you can see, I'm playing Pokemon Colosseum, except, I'm um, sorry, it's not, because we're, we're not playing as well. So this is Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness, which is the sequel to Colosseum. Uh, what I'm being, what I'm doing today, because you guys have raised so much money for this, uh, I'm doing Metronome Cup, which is where we just use Metronome. <laughs> um, I want to give some major shoutouts to two people while I do this. Uh, first of all, major shout outs to Sparkle because I don't actually own this game and uh, Sparkle had to ship it to me. Uh, so without him shipping me this game, we wouldn't be seeing this. And I also want to give shout outs to Zeke who made the file for this game so that I could actually do this Metrodome Cup. Anyways, without further ado, let's see how this first turn of Metronome goes. All right. So we're not aware of the Metronome. Metronome is a move that can pick almost any other move in the game. It just randomly rolls and picks one. Um, we got Reflect Turn One. All right, great. We're gonna be we're gonna be more uh, more resilient. No, it's not damage. us. It's the other team. Oh. Oh, and I just got Sky Overcut from Togepi. <laughs> So the ideal fight here is, or at least that is uh, what we have thought is the this ideal fight. So fast is Machop using Memento, and then have Togepi win the speed tie versus Geodude, and have to use a water move. Uh, there are different speeds on the water move animations, which is actually the only thing that makes current world record beatable. It's that um, because someone, someone named Thriller got. Memento plus Water Spout, uh, which killed the uh, which killed the Geodude as well, and one turn to fight. But you can get faster moves than that, so that's pretty much the entire thing that separates or it makes this category beatable or not beatable. Apart from like super minor things like frames for mashing, but it's like not really a factor yet because we haven't had two runs that properly tie. Oh, fake out turn two that rolls. <laughs> yeah, this isn't looking too great for me. Not the best start. Also, I mm. forgot to start a timer, so someone's gonna have to cue me when it's been 10 minutes. <laughs> I think we'll crash. Right. What do we got here? Come on, crash. I mean, like, at least that's a move. It is a move, yeah, and it's gonna lock itself into it, I guess. So oh, take down. Oh, Clef is almost dead. Clef, oh. One HP. Hey, there you go. There you got the recoil damage. Yeah, that's that's Unscored. gonna matter when you deal twenty damage instead of twenty one. Surf, Unscored. come on, surf, 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 surf. Oh, surf will kill Clefairy. No, it won't. Not in it this gen. It doesn't do damage to the partner in Gen 3. Oh, you're right. Yep. Smog. Will it poison? Yes, it did. Oh. And I thrashed the Machop. No, it just wants to thrash you, dude. It's not very effective, Swift. You should maybe, I don't know. 
Yeah, maybe find an alternative strategy. All right, Clef is going to faint itself. I'm like 100% certain. Wing attack. Let's see who this hits. Togepi. All right, Clef is still alive. Unless it hits itself. Or unless this Geodude attacks it. Let's see what this Geodude does. Drill Peck. What? You got wing attack and drill peck? And then... Okay, well, yeah. That, that, it's just over. Togepi died. <laughs> Uh, let's see if Kleppa can break through. No, Kleppa! Okay, oh. that's the first metronome come down. What a, what, an, what, what, what a tragic <laughs> end. 4FF2023. All right, you know what? You know, first time's a warm-up. It's okay. True, true. All right, we're going to do it again. I'm not worried. You'll, we'll run it back, all right? It's going to be perfect. Surely, this this will be the memento run. It's only like one in <laughs> oh, astronomically. Uh, I don't. I, I do believe we did the maths on that. Um, this unfortunately, my memory is poor, so I don't remember it. But did the maths has been blast done. burn? <laughs> it's special at least. They're, they're getting way better. They're doing a lot better than you at Metronome, I gotta say. Just think about that one time Togepi got Surf and Hydro Pump. Same fight. Fine with. Ooh! Huh? You just hit Geodude. Nope, it hit Machop. Oh, that's the most <laughs> tragic thing is when you get a good move and it chooses the wrong target. So can we get Surf? Roar! <laughs> okay, Roar. at least it's fast. Hopefully they can answer. Oh, takedown. <laughs> oh, that's not great, but stab, Oh, but I it's guess. on much up. It's on much up. Okay. Stab, take down on much up. Okay, not bad. We take those. Good damage on much up, because much up has to recharge now. True, true. Earthquake. Whoa. <laughs> Let's go. Goodbye, Cleffa. <laughs> Clefa really killed gets the chop. Of this, of this oh no, it doesn't. Yeah, Clefa is dead. Maybe I'll just get Memento right here, right now. Up, oh, sweet scent. Okay, that works. I only got one metronome user left. It's at full health, though. Oh, you're evasion. Oh no. No, I won't be able to avoid the blast burn or fire blasts. Or the guillotine. <laughs> the guillotine. Thank Sonic you. boom. No. <laughs> I'm dead! <laughs> That's amazing. That's so tragic. All right. Getting a ratio. It's, okay. it's so okay. hard. <laughs> All right. Well, third try. Yep. So Sonic Boom is like the best thing that can happen <laughs> for Wait, the did AI. You did you not practice this? Uh, no, I did. I practiced it. I, I spent I a lot know, of time I'm not on convinced. this. I don't, your strategies don't think, like, seem like they're working. Yeah, I think you're right. Maybe I need to switch it up a bit. I'll just use Metronome next time. The worst, the worst part about this Metronome Cup is that when we first added it to the leaderboards, what we did was that we, um, we, um, we held a, uh, like, a tournament or, like, a prize, uh, what do you call it? Like, we had a bounty for who could get the fastest time in this. Recycle. And world record was set on day one of the competition and it was never beaten after that. Still hasn't been beaten. <laughs> so, you know. Glare! I got glare are we doing? hit something. Alright, Jordan, if you're still awake and watching this, when are we doing Barrier Blitz Metronome Cup? Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, no, he used Torment! No! He used Torment on me! Wait, does that mean you have to struggle? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. God. I got hydro cannon and it missed! No! <laughs> <laughs> oh no. my god. <laughs> That's so sad. I mean, it targeted Machop, to be fair. No, you used aromatherapy and you healed your flippin' Machop's <laughs> paralysis! Oh what the? What? <laughs> what in the world is happening? You're getting so rolled. <laughs> I would honestly restart this one. 
Yeah, this one just. No, we got. We got to finish it out. We got to see how it ends. All right, all right, all right. Cloudfuck can carry surely. Rolling kick. We did. Everyone donated six thousand dollars for Swift to just get demolished by the game. <laughs> this is amazing. This is so good. Honestly, probably needed it. No, not Kinesis. To be fair, your run, your run, what seemed like it went overall pretty okay. So like, no, you it did not. <laughs> it did not. I just played well, which was good. You know what? Better to be good than lucky, I guess. True. This is just wow. <laughs> you're really, really getting scammed. Like it's Psycho not even boost. Okay. You're a little unfavored, but you're not that unfavored to win this. So, seeing the. I lock mean, I have, I'm tormented. I got spider web. Oh okay. yeah. From, What's that from gonna the do? point you got tormented, it was obviously <laughs> gonna be a hard time. But like, yeah, it's uh, it's not gone great. That's for sure. I see wind. Ooh. Everyone's least. Oh, that's good damage on Geo, dude. Wow, oh, that is good damage to it. And the speed drop as well is gonna make sure that Machop the Struggle is honestly doing damage. I missed <laughs> I missed struggle. <laughs> Machop's oh my god. Machop's gonna be outside of my cookie. I got glare again. Sure, why not? I got glare again. Winnable? Question mark? I can't believe I said the Encore! Wait, is it gonna go does it encore into, into struggle? Can it do that? I, I, no, it doesn't work. Crunch? Ow. It's not the special defense drop. Oh. Come on, Togepi. You've got this. You Take can find down. these again. It missed! Okay, I mean, that's good. <laughs> We're at 5 HP. <laughs> we probably uh, didn't want that to How hit. about Icy Wind again? Bide? Wait, wait, this could be good. This oh, could yeah, be Clef really good. Clef is a full HP as well, yeah. Yes, this could be, this could be good. Uh, Taunt is not something I want. I mean, not half the moves don't work. That's fun. Wait, does that uh, not work? No, I don't think so. Oh. <laughs> But it wasn't Cleffa. Cleffa's, <laughs> Cleffa's locked into Bide, but Bide it's gonna right have to struggle now. now. Oh my god. No, it's storing energy. <laughs> Miss! No, hit the Cleffa! Now you're getting outplayed. Uh. Let's see if we can win this, because I uh, see that... Oh my, I copied the stat changes, which means my speed is lower. Can I win Suck this? Up. Can't you win this? Find out in the next episode. Apparently it has been 10 minutes. <laughs> has it really? Yeah. It has. Yeah. Oh my... <laughs> I can still use metronome. That's good. Missed. What? God! What is going on? Oh, oh, that missed. Okay. <laughs> I'm so confused. This, oh. is one, this is one of the most drawn out metronome battles I've seen in this run, which is wild. Is there a turn limit for this one? No. No. Okay. Oh, we're chipping the Geodude. We're slowly chipping him. But we're also getting chipped. Mega Punch, no! It's gonna miss. It's right, a blood and a crit! No! no. <laughs> oh, it's so oh, no! <laughs> that was wonderful. Thank you for showing off the metronome. Wait, no, we still have a Togepi up. Yeah, we do still have a Togepi. Clutch, come on. Togepi's gonna die because it has struggle right now. No. Unless it gets Surf. Come on. It's Machop. Aeroblast! Wait. This could be huge! Oh, that's Geodude! No! That's so sad. Geodude's out? 
Let's uh, memento right here, right now. Come on. Memento, come on. Come no, on. not Dragon Claw! Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> well. <laughs> GG. <laughs> GG. GG. That's, oh, th that's time? That's that time. Is, that is time. That is time. <laughs> is, that a, is that technically a mercy kill, I guess? <laughs> it counts, yeah. I, I have ready. no idea. <laughs> Put it on your mercy kill uh, record. All right. Well, thank you all for donating. I have one last gift to share with you. There you go. Thank you to Zeke for making this file and Sparkle for shipping me his copy and May and Ava for being here and everyone for donating for this because it was really fun. Thank you to Chat for donating so much money, but um, also I, I get to keep my name. Sure. What? And, and unfortunately, May does get to keep her name. <laughs> we were so close, chat. You were very close. I'm we impressed. We were less than $2,000 away. I was, I was sweating. <laughs> <laughs> Regardless, thank you everyone for your donations. Real quick, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, I'm sure you all know that was the last run of tonight. I'd like to read a few more donations to send us off. Um, quick reminder that... Uh, We'll be back tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern. And just in case you're not sure what to look forward to, I would recommend turning in, tuning in to the Dark Souls 2 run. Uh, it has a category listed as soup, um, which I want to find out what that is. And uh, I, I also recommend tuning in to just everything on the on the schedule tomorrow, but Spyro 2, Ripto's Rage, and Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. Raccoonus. Um, those are both great runs I'm looking forward to. We're going to go to a short break, and then we'll be rating another wonderful speedrunner afterwards, so stick around. <laughs>